Mother's Day triple header celebration. First up, the Fiesta Bowl from Tempe, Arizona, as number 10 Oklahoma brings a sensational freshman, Marcus Dupree, into the home of the Sun Devils. He gained over 900 yards this year to set an Oklahoma freshman record. Arizona State will be ready with the number one defense in the country. They gave up a mere 95 yards a game on the ground. It's Oklahoma and Arizona State in the Fiesta Bowl. Then it's on to Pasadena, where Michigan and sensational Anthony Carter challenge UCLA, the Pac-10 champs who are ranked number five. Michigan and UCLA in the Rose Bowl. Then it's on to Miami for all the pageantry and color of the Orange Bowl. LSU comes in as they have all year, trying to pull the big upset. Tonight, they'll be facing Big A champion Nebraska, number three in America. Our innovative instant pre-play will focus on individual players, such as Outland winner Dave Remington and All-American running back Mike Roger. It's LSU and Nebraska wrapping up our triple header all today, New Year's Day 83 on NBC. again everybody and happy new year to you all i'm len berman in new york and we hope to get your 1983 started off in exciting and colorful fashion we have a triple header of bowl action here on nbc starting with the fiesta bowl then on to pasadena for the rose bowl and finishing up tonight in miami with the orange bowl and i'll be here throughout the day with scores and highlights so sit back and enjoy three terrific bowl games right here on NBC without changing your dial. First up, the Fiesta Bowl. We have Oklahoma and Arizona State. Let's go out to Tempe, Arizona. will be an exciting day here at the Fiesta Bowl. Happy New Year, everybody. I'm Charlie Jones. This is Lynn Dawson. And we're very pleased to start off the new year for you on NBC. And we do it with a classic matchup. Oklahoma against Arizona State. The Sooners, number two in rushing in the nation. Arizona State, the number one defensive team in the nation. It boils down to this. Marcus Dupree, the great running back for Oklahoma. If Arizona State can stop him, they got a chance of winning. If not, it looks like it's going to be Oklahoma's day. One thing that we do know, Lynn Dawson, it is a gorgeous day. We're at the 12th Fiesta Bowl, Sun Devil Stadium in Tempe, Arizona. A sellout crowd of more than 70,000 will be on hand here today. And at kickoff time, the temperature 60 degrees, so stay with us today. Just sit back and relax and don't touch that dial. We've got the matchup here between the Sun Devils of Arizona State University and the head coach of the University of Oklahoma, Barry Switzer, and the Oklahoma Sooners. And that great offense that you will be seeing, led by the freshman Marcus Dupree. And then we'll be on to the Rose Bowl in Pasadena and then to the Orange Bowl in Miami. So a great day here on NBC, Lynn. We have some great matchups not only here, but as you mentioned, the Rose Bowl in Pasadena. Michigan with the great Anthony Carter. And going against UCLA, the quarterback Tom Ramsey had a great year. And on this evening to the Orange Bowl, Nebraska, the number one offensive team in the nation, led by that great Outland Trophy winner, Dave Remington. What an outstanding center he is going against LSU and their great freshman running back, Dalton Hillier. But right now, we've got Arizona State receiving the ball. All right, for the Oklahoma Sooners, Michael Keeling will be kicking off. The deep backs on the return are Willie Gettins, and the freshman from Arizona State that you'll be seeing today, Darrell Clack. Now, the Sun Devils have been on probation. They've not been on television for two years. And we are underway on NBC. Gettins on the return to the 15, 20, 25. And he returns near the 30-yard line as Scott Case was there. Let's look at the offense. For the Sun Devils of Arizona State, the quarterback is Todd Hans. Six right, Alvin Moore will be the running back. Weatherspoon is the flanker. And you will see Doug Allen as it's been in the big guy. Ron Wetzel, 6'7", 238 pounds, is the starting tight end for Arizona State. And we'll be taking a look at him because he has had some knee problems. He is starting. They don't know how long he'll be able to go. From the Sun Devils, 30-yard line, first down. 
Todd Hans, the quarterback. Good passer, almost at 56% completion average. A fumble on the first play. It is recovered by the Sun Devils, Alvin Moore. The tailback was the ball carrier, so a little nervous as we open the ball game. Let's look at that offensive line for the Sun Devils. Mike Whitey is the quick tackle. The quick guard is Dan Mackey, but he was limping. Mark Shoup, the center. Ron Sowers, the strong guard. And James Keaton is the strong tackle. Second down. Hans to throw. And it is incomplete. So it'll be third down and about nine to go at the 30-yard line. Wetzel, the intended receiver. Let's look at the Sooners' defense. Sooners known for their offense, but the defense is good. Left end is Goodlow. Daryl Goodlow, then Rick Bryan, the All-American. The nose guard is John Blake, then Bob Slater, and Kevin Murphy. And Murphy has had an outstanding year for that Oklahoma defense. So we talk about the matchup of the Sun Devils defense against the Sooners offense. The game could be decided by the Arizona State offense and the Oklahoma defense. Third down and nine. Hans with protection, far side, pass is complete, close to the first down at the 40-yard line. Scott Case was there for the defense, Tex Wright. The fullback is the man who caught it. The rest of the defense, linebacker is Benson, that's Thomas Benson with Jackie Ship on the other side. At the corners, Dwight Drain and Scott Case. And at the safeties, Keith Stanberry and Steve Hayward. They mark it at the 39-yard line. And that means that Mike Black will be kicking ninth in the nation. And Marcus Dupree, Scott Case, set for the return. On a gorgeous afternoon at the Fiesta Bowl. Game just underway. A 44.3 yard kicking average taken at the 31 yard line with the fair catch. And now we will look at the offense of the Oklahoma Sooners. Kelly Phelps, the quarterback. With Stanley Wilson, the fullback. And of course, the man everybody is looking for, Dupree. Sewell at the flanker. The tight end, Fontenet, and Paul Cluis. The split end. And Oklahoma now on offense for the first time in the ball game from their own 31 yard line. Oklahoma will operate both out of the I formation. They will use some wishbone today, too. A flag is down on the play. Caldwell leading the defense. Stanley Wilson, the fullback, getting the first call from Carson, California. No one more is a blocker. Go ahead, Lim. You think Caldwell has been watching Gaston Ho with the Jets? The illegal procedure against the Sooners. All right, that offensive line for Oklahoma. Rocky Hubble, Paul Parker. The center is Chuck Thomas. Dr. Death, Steve Williams on the right side, and Brent Burks, the right tackle. At the 26-yard line, first down 15, so we'll start over. David Carter and Paul Cruz, the messenger service, and wide receiver. So Carter flips out wide, but Dupree gets the call, and the defense is waiting for him. And this time, it is Brian Caldwell along with Mark Hicks. Let's look at that defense of the Sun Devils. Number one in the nation. Vern Maxwell, All-American. Jeff Coat. Callahan, the nose guard. Caldwell, the right end. And the right linebacker is Mark Hicks. 28-yard line. Second down and about 13. Second down and 14 officially. Kelly Phelps, the quarterback for the Sooners. On the option. Marcus Dupree. And he draws the crowd to the 38-yard line. He picks up almost 10, so it'll be third down and about four. Paul Moyer is the man who made the tackle. The strong safety for the Sun Devils. Number 54, all-American Vernon Maxwell. They are going to option off of Vernon Maxwell. He goes for the quarterback, but the quarterback does not have the ball. This big man does. The freshman running back, Marcus Dupree. You're going to see a great deal of him today. Arizona State, if they're going to win, they must stop number 22, Marcus Dupree. It's as simple as that. And remember, Dupree, a freshman, he is only 18 years old. Option other side. Here's Dupree. Needed four to pick up the first down. Jim Jeffcoat made the tackle, and he should have the first down. The officials will check that out. The rest of the defense. 
Greg Battle, inside linebacker, along with Jimmy Williams. The other inside linebacker is Wayne Galloway on one quarter, Mario Montgomery on the other. Strong safety is Paul Moyer, and two-time All-America free safety is Mike Richardson. The line of scrimmage, the 42-yard line. It is a first down. Arizona State likes to go with a lot of stunts. They'll take Richardson, the All-American safety. They'll blitz him. They'll do a lot of things defensively. Debris in motion, but it is Stanley Wilson, the fullback, who takes the handoff. And Vernon Maxwell, the first man on the defense there, with Mike Richardson, the free safety, also in on the play. Gain of five. Mike Richardson, number 25, a two-time All-American. He's all over the field. He leads that secondary in tackles. He's done it for three straight years. Second down and five. The Sooners offense again with David Carter and Paul Clewis. The split ends. They alternate as a messenger service. Second and five. Second back through to Bray. Gain of a couple to the 49. Jim Jeffcoat, the left end. And Mitch Callahan, the nose guard, making the tackle. Jeff Coat from Cliffwood, New Jersey, and Callahan from here in Phoenix. Charlie, number 22, Dupree, you must stop him at the line of scrimmage because he is 235 pounds and runs a 40-yard dash in about 4.3, 4.4 seconds. So if you get him in the secondary, he is gone. He has seven touchdowns this year, seven of his 13 from outside 60 yards. Ones, including a punt return. Dupree, four carries, 17 yards. Here he is again. Here he comes for a lot. Now you see Vernon Maxwell and Paul Moyer, the strong safety. Why? The Sun Devils, the number one defensive team in the country. There is the matchup you will be seeing today. I said you must stop this man before he gets to the line of scrimmage. Number 54, Vernon Maxwell, the All-American. He does just that. Hit him in the backfield. Get penetration. Get Dupree before he gets ahead of steam. Gets him upfield. Michael Keeling handles all of the kicking chores for the Sooners. A 43-yard punting average, 12th in the nation. Scott Keegan takes it at the 16-yard line, bobbles it, scrambles, falls on it at the 10-yard line. Normally, Keegan is there to fair catch. He wanted to try a return and was costly. So Arizona State will have possession of the football at their own 10-yard line. That kick, 38 yards. The return is a minus six yards for Scott Keegan from Fairmont, California. Academic, all packed in. We'll take a timeout. We have no score here at the Fiesta Bowl. It is Arizona State University nothing, Oklahoma nothing. We'll be back in a moment. Yes, by IBM, we're dedicated to the office where it is now, where it will be. And by Foamy, the shave cream that's more than thick and rich enough for a clean, close shave. Charlie Jones, Lynn Dawson, Fiesta Bowl. We start the new year on NBC. Stay with us. We'll be followed by the Rose Bowl, then the Orange Bowl. No score between Arizona State and Oklahoma. The Sun Devils from their own 10-yard line. Right side, Alvin Moore, the senior from Randolph, Arizona, picks up about three. It'll be second down and seven as Daryl Goodlow, defensive left end, makes the tackle. He's from Maplewood, Missouri. We talked about the great defensive unit of Arizona State. Let's not forget about Oklahoma. They also have a fine defensive unit. That charge was led by that man, number 80, Rick Bryan, a junior. The running backs are now Darrell Clack and Tex Wright. Hunts to throw. Chased out of the pocket. He's got room to run to the 15. He's to the 20, the 25, out of bounds at about the 29-yard line. He'll pick up 16 yards on the play, and Thomas Benson of the Sooners was the man who was chasing him. Big play for Arizona State that got him out of the hole down there by their goal line. Do you see that the defensive line of Oklahoma got caught inside? There's nobody outside. Linebacker's there, gone. He picked up as much yard as he can, gets out of bounds, and preserves his health for another play. Todd Hawk. throw on first down for the 29 it is incomplete at the 38 yard line Ron Wetzel the tight end the intended receiver Thomas Benson had the coverage so it'll be second down and 10 for the Sun Devils at their own 29 yard line Charlie I think we're getting an idea to see what Arizona feels that they can do against Oklahoma I think they feel they have to throw the ball 
in order to be successful and win this football game. They know that they can't just go after Oklahoma on the ground running with the football and survive. They've got to throw it. The 16-yard run by the quarterback, Todd Hans, the longest in his career, that you saw just a moment ago. He turns spin, hands off to Darrell Clack, and Clack is dropped for a loss. You haven't heard a lot about Darrell Clack. He's from Fountain, Colorado, a 9-6 beaster. He is a freshman, number 42. They say he's the answer to Dupree, and this is the Dupree cam from above. Up above and up above, down below, whatever you want to say. The defensive line of Oklahoma got great penetration. They got the back in the backfield and dropped him for a loss. So it'll be third down and 12. Alvin Moore and Tex Wright are now the running back. As Clack and Moore, they will alternate for Arizona State as their messenger service. Passing formation, Hans to throw. As it high, knocked down incomplete. It's actually knocked down by Doug Allen, his own man, who was trying to pull it in. Jackie Schiff was there for the defense in third down conversions. Arizona State 0 for 2, Oklahoma 1 of 2. But that means that Mike Black, the ninth-ranked kicker in the collegiate ranks with a 44.3-yard average, will be coming in. Marcus Dupree will be the deep back on the return. That is the normal set with Scott Case as the up back. This time it is going to be Case as the deep back. And Steve Hayworth is the up back. Fair catch is taken at the 26 yard line by Scott Case. And so the Sooners will take over on their own 26 yard line following the kick of 46 yards with no return. We've got a timeout. We have no score at the Fiesta Bowl. We'll be back in a moment. Offensive change for the Oklahoma Sooners at center. Chuck Thomas, who was second team all Big 8. That could be first team every place else. He was second team, but Dave Remington has a hamstring. Probably out for the game. Paul Ferrer, his backup, has replaced him. Marcus Dupree from the 27-yard line to the 29. A gain of two. It'll be second down and eight. Mike Richardson, the free safety. Two-time All-America for the Sun Devils, is there to stop him. Talking about Arizona State, what they felt they had to do to win. There's no secret about Oklahoma and what they are going to do. They are going to run with the football. Let me make a correction. That was Stanley Wilson, the ball carrier. This is Willie Gittins, number 44, the all-purpose back for Arizona State. We'll see him some at tailback. On the option, Kelly Phelps, dropped for a lot. 26-yard line, loss of three. It'll be third down and 11. Jim Jeffcoat, defensive left end there. And again, we want to point out this tremendous defense, number one in the nation, and we've seen why. Oh. Split T formation that Oklahoma has made famous. They haven't run it that well, plus the addition of Marcus Dupree. They've gone more to the I formation. I think what they want to do, they want to use it against Arizona State because Arizona State has not seen it this year. Phelps around the corner, in the fence, and out of bounds. <laughs> Dupree saw some real estate, but he ran out of sideline, and Mike Richardson was there covering for the Sun Devils. Now, prior to that play, Oklahoma, the number two rushing team in the nation, a total of only 18 yards in eight carries. Outstanding move by the quarterback, Phelps, just as he's going to get hit, gets the ball out to Dupree, and that is your basic wishbone type of offense. And when you get that man outside, if he gets any room up the sidelines, he is going to be gone. The line of scrimmage now the 39-yard line. And it is a first down. The Sooners scoring on first and second possession in nine of 11 games, five times on the first possession this year. Marcus Dupree, six carries, 26 yards, his long gain, 12 yards. First down, Oklahoma, their own 39-yard line, no score in the ball game. Dupree, opposite side, breaks it to the 40, 30, at the five-yard line. Unbelievable. 26 yards prior to that run, but 
You get him in the secondary, it's all gone. Number 93, the outstanding defensive lineman, Jeff Goat, is written to the inside. 22 gets into the secondary. When that happens, you can see what he's capable of doing. The great speed, 9-5, 100-yard type of ball. Runner, Marcus Dupree takes it to the five-yard line, and the Oklahoma Sooners are threatening. A gain of 56 yards. Dupree now has 83 yards. He needs only 12 more to reach 1,000 on the year. High pitch, he fumbles it out of bounds. He'll still pick up a couple of yards on the play. It'll be second down, goal to go. Charlie, I think if he hadn't bobbled that ball, he would have gotten into the end zone. He is going for his fifth 100-yard game of the season. And I think the amazing thing about this young man is you take a look at him, he didn't find the handle. He got a good block by his wide receiver, Steve Sewell, downfield. If he'd have got his hands on it, he would have scored. He's only 18 years old out of Philadelphia, Mississippi, and he has a lot to learn about the game, and when he does learn more, he's going to be devastated. Weighing in at 235 pounds. Has a couple of yards to the one-yard line. It'll be third down and goal to go. Mike Langston leading the Arizona defense. A look from above. This is called the Dupree angle. You can see looking straight down on the play. Outstanding play by Arizona State converging on Dupree. And you can see a Dwayne Galloway angle as he came in from defensive corner. Just outside the one-yard line. Sooner's taking a lot of time. Now they have 15 seconds on the clock. Wilson. The celebration may be premature. I believe the knee down before he went into the end zone. They will mark it about a half yard away. We'll take a look. Fourth down coming up. Straight ahead. Wilson goes up. He is hit. And the knee goes down right there. That is the call. Mike Richardson there for the defense. Take another look at it, sir. All right. I don't see the knee. Boy, up. the knee did not go down. You're right. So a premature call by the officials. Here's another chance. Touchdown. This time the ball broke the play. It was Stanley Wilson with the score. The drive started back at the Oklahoma 27-yard line to a drive of 73 yards in eight plays. Here it is, up and over. He only needed about a quarter and a half or a half a yard. And Arizona State defense really converged on him. I saw a flag flying about 20 yards on the sideline over by the Oklahoma side on the 20-yard line. Now there's Marcus Dupree, 30-yard line, far sideline that there's minutes working on administering to him. We'll get a report on that. For the extra point attempt upcoming by Michael Keeling. Keeling again handling all of the kicking chores. Barefoot with the extra point attempt. And he puts the shoe on to, uh, to punt. Dupree thus far nine carries at 87 yards. Stanley Wilson Four carries for eight yards, the touchdown for the Oklahoma team. 14 carries, 92 yards. The drive, 73 yards in eight plays. It took two minutes and 36 seconds. Officials timeout. I saw a flag flying over there about the 20 yard line. Reiterating that it is a touchdown. Bill Parkinson, the referee. The officiating crew from the Major Independent Collegiate Athletic Association. Emil Narek is the commissioner. And again, Marcus Dupree, far sideline. Phelps to hold. And it is good. So the score, Oklahoma 7 and Arizona State nothing. On that 73 yard drive, the key play Marcus Dupree of 56 yards. Here is the touchdown. Wilson up.
up and over. He gets in. Oklahoma leading by seven. We'll be back. Just Kane to the south entrance of the exit. The report is Marcus Dupree had the wind knocked out of him on the fumble. We'll take another look, Len. Well, it was the pitch out. He didn't find the handle on the football. Probably looking at it. Gets... There was a touchdown right there had he been able to hold on the ball. He just fell on his stomach. No one hit him. Still hurts, though. It does. Unfortunately for Oklahoma, I'm sure he's going to be back. All right, Keeling kicking off with Clack and Cade, the deep back. Taken by number 42, Darrell Clack, the freshman. He is written down at about the 24, the 25 yard line by Jerry Sanders of Oklahoma, the recipient of the first Don Key Award for the Sooner. In honor of Don Key, a football player at the University of Oklahoma, had a football injury to his kidneys when they went in to do the repair work, they found that it was malignant. It was removed, and that is what saved his life. So it was a football injury that actually saved his life. That is the award. And here's Dupree, they're working on him on the far side. As Arizona State goes to work at their own 24-yard line first down. Hans gives off to Alvin Moore, Moore the senior. 30-yard line, a gain of six. It'll be second down and four. Jackie Shep was the first man to get there for Oklahoma. First down. Oklahoma has three all rushing. Arizona State has one also rushing. Well, I might add that number 42 coming into the backfield, Darrell Clack is a freshman. Arizona State will send in the plays by their tailbacks. They will alternate them on every play. We talk about Marcus Dupree. We're going to get to take a look at number 42, freshman Darrell Clack. He is also outstanding. Play action. On throw. Knocked out of the hands of Ron Wetzel. Wetzel had it, and then he was mad. Scott Case was dead. Oh, he unloaded on it. Harris, third down and four. Arizona State is feeling pressure from that defensive front number 39. Is Murphy coming in, putting pressure on the quarterback. He wants to get, yes, get rid of the ball right now because that number 39, Murphy, is in his face. It's a good thing, Charlie, that Wetzel is a large man because he was really leveled that time by Case. Wetzel at 6'7", 238 pounds. Hans throwing, now one of five. Third down four. Gives this time to Alvin Moore. And Moore picks up the first down. You see the Sun Devils with a more versatile offense than the Sooners, but the Sooners staying primarily on the ground. They are awesome in that department. Take a look from the behind the ball carrier. Moore, number nine, gets the corner turn, gets upfield, and gets the first down. For Arizona State, on third down conversions, now that is their second of four. Oklahoma, likewise, has two of four third down conversions. Moore rushing, four carries, 18 yards. Darrell Clack. Ball pop loose. The ball was blown dead at the 40-yard line. Black carrying a gain of three, second down seven. And Rick Bryan, All America defensive tackle, was there. Marcus Dupree on the sideline. Could be more than just a win knock. I was wondering the same thing. And of course, if it is, we'll have a, an immediate report on that. He's going to the locker room. Now for Arizona State, Alvin Moore and Tex Wright are the running backs. Second and seven, Hans to throw. Has pressure, and he is sacked at the 31-yard line by Mike Weddington. A loss of nine. It'll be third down, 60. Best pass defense in the, in the world. Getting to that quarterback. The defensive line of Oklahoma is applying a lot of pressure on Todd Hans. Here we are, number 80 is Rick Bryant. 88, Weddington. Weddington's going to shed his, his blocker, come in and make the stop. Putting Arizona State in uh, third in a very, very long situation. Change at offensive guard. Jim Hahn is in that offensive set for the Sun Devils. Pass is complete to the 50 yard. There's a flag down on the play. It was Jerome Weatherspoon on the receiving end. It will be holding against the Sun Devils. 
so we will put the eraser to the play. Dwight Drain made the defensive stop for the Sooners, but a tough penalty against the Sun Devils. And that was an excellent play by Arizona State. Hans going back. He has time to step up and throw the ball. Weatherspoon made a nice move right in the zone between three of the Oklahoma defensive players. Good throw. Unfortunately, it's going to go back because of a holding call. The penalty takes the ball to the 21 yard line. Charlie, I think both teams, I think, possess great team holding speed. Holding It'll be third down and 26, and you're right. There is a lot of speed here today. World class speed yes. on both sides. The object is to get them in the open. Let them and play speaking of world class speed, Ron Brown, number 30, the wide receiver for the Sun Devils. 100 meters, a 10.15 National Indoor Sprint Champion. Third and 26. He'll go long. They'll pick him up. With pressure, a screen pass incomplete. Going to Tex Wright. Tom Clemens, the nose guide, was there for Oklahoma. It'll be fourth down. They're simply applying a lot of pressure on the quarterback of Arizona State. 93 Clemens, the nose guard, is in there. He gets rid of the ball way before he wants to. They're in a punting situation. Oklahoma's going to get that football back. And it should be in great field position, too. Black's average, 38 and a half yards. Scott Case is the deep back on the return. Steve Hayworth is the up back. Takes an Oklahoma bounce, goes out at the Oklahoma 43-yard line. So the Sooners have possession at their own 43-yard line. Good field position. A kick of only 36 yards. Oklahoma has the lead. 7 nothing. Stay with us. We'll be back at the Fiesta Bowl. Only on NBC Sports. Happy New Year, everybody, from the Fiesta Bowl. Stay with us all day on NBC. Just sit back and relax and enjoy the Fiesta Bowl. Then we'll be going to the Rose Bowl of Michigan and UCLA. And in the spectacular Orange Bowl, Nebraska and LSU. So it is January the 1st. That means spend it with NBC. Might add, too, that at the Rose Bowl, Merlin Olsen. Who is the Grand the Marshal of the Grand Tournament Marshall Rose Parade. That's right. Total yardage thus far, Oklahoma 93 all rushing. Arizona State 42 yards, 34 yards rushing. Now, Fred Sims has replaced Dupree. Oklahoma's going to throw. They go long. And they go incomplete. Steve Sewell is the intended receiver. Mario Montgomery. The reason that we say that is the Sooners do not have a passing attack. And even Barry Switzer, the, the head coach at the luncheon, commented when he makes fun of the passing attack and a quarterback throws only 36%, then you know it really does not fit into their plan. I thought uh, they were in trouble passing when they asked me if I would still have any eligibility left. One thing we found out there anyway is Phelps can throw the ball yeah, long. He certainly they can. have about two patterns. One, they'll go long, hoping to get man-to-man -man coverage. The other, they'll throw a hook pass. Number 32, Steve Wilson. Now they go back from the eye. They show the wishbone. One of the reasons is that Arizona State has not defensed the wishbone. Fred Moyer, strong, Paul Moyer, the strong safety for the Sun Devils, making the tackle because Arizona State in the back 10, more of a passing conference than a running conference, such as the Big 8 that the Sooners play in. Arizona State is a team that likes to blitz. They like to come with a lot of people, but that's good against a passing attack because you're going after the quarterback, but against the wishbone and a running type of uh, offense is not a good idea. Third down and a yard. Stanley Wilson getting the call again. Close to the first down. Jim Jeffco was there. He needed a yard. He may have got it. Wilson, six carries, 18 yards. Wilson from Carson, California. And number 99. Mitchell. Here it is, down in the pits where everything takes place. Not much movement. They're going to bring the chains out. Take a look to see if he did make the first down. He did not. He did not. It'll be fourth down and inches. At the Arizona State 47 yard line, Scott Keegan of the Sun Devils anticipating the kick. 
as Michael Keeling comes in. That was a big play for Arizona State. Now, get that ball back. With the offensive set, though, they can go for a fake. They need only about four inches. I don't believe they will at this stage of the game. Pressure is on. with the block and boy did they come through second block kick that he has had this season and the Sun Devils with great field position here you see it they're all coming after it 25 All-American Mike Richardson makes the block no one touched it he knifed through there missed the assignment up front they did not block him Arizona State will have the football at the Oklahoma 39-yard line. When we come back, Oklahoma leads 7-0. Don't go away. It's the bloopers that started it all. Sure wish I could remember the rest of it. Hollywood's biggest shows, a lot of stars are exposed on Dick Clark's original bloopers Tuesday. Mike Richardson, two-time All-American, first team. First time that a Sooner punt has been blocked this year. Well, of course, this year. Let's say this season. This is January the 1st, 83. Alvin Moore, Tex Wright. The running backs, 39-yard line of Oklahoma. And jumping is Tom Flemons. Flemons, the nose guard for the Oklahoma Sooners. He's in replacing John Blake. Mike Weddington is in for Kevin Murphy. The legal procedure. A change in that offensive line as Mike White is out of quick tackle. Scott Mazur has replaced him. So it is Mazur, Hahn, Shook, Sowers, and Keaton, the offensive line. 34-yard line, first down and five in Oklahoma territory. ASU a chance to tie it up. Alvin Moore and Tex Wright, the running back. Quick out, far side, a flag will go down. Doug Allen, the intended receiver, never turned around, but Scott Gates hit him anyway. You know, in college football, as opposed to professional football, you can chuck a man all over the field as long as you keep him in front of him and as long as the ball is not in the air. That time the ball was in the air. The Oklahoma defensive man, Scott Case, hit the receiver and the flag went down. But the ironic thing is that the receiver had not turned around. <laughs> had, had Scott Case been looking and gone after the ball, he might have been still running down the other way with a touchdown. So spot the ball at the 26-yard line. On snap, two completions, two out of seven for 16 yards. Not too impressive. First down and 10. Oklahoma leads 7-0. Penalties are even at 10 yards on each side of the line. On to Darrell Clark. Just inside the 24. You'll get a couple. It'll be second down and eight. Thomas Benson, the first man there for the defense. And Darrell Goodlow, the second man for Oklahoma. Not much on that play. Number 85 is the tight end, Scott Wetzel. Brushing aside, going after the linebacker downfield. Does not get in good position to make the block. He has been hampered with a knee problem. But he is an outstanding tight end, and they like to go to him in passing situation. The throw set fires. It's complete. Ron Wetzel, the tight end. Vincent with the tackle. They'll mark it at the 14-yard line. It will be a first down. Wetzel on the season, 26 receptions for 341 yards, an average of just over 13. The linebacker, Thomas Benson, is trying to cover him. He's just going down, turning around, finding the open area, and making the reception. Arizona State likes to go to this man, and well, they should. Six feet, seven inches tall. He makes a very nice target for that quarterback. The senior from Pittsburgh had that knee injury in the tip game of the regular season. And whistle sound before the play can get off. May have a 25-second violation. No. We have the end of the quarter. That's what it is. So we have the first quarter in the books at the Fiesta Bowl. Remember today, the Fiesta, the rose and the orange here at NBC. We'll be back with the second quarter in just a moment. It is Oklahoma 7 and Arizona State threatening. Stay with us. On behalf of the Arizona State Sun Devils, we'd like to wish you all a happy new year.
Way to go, Sun Devils. All of us at NBC would like to uh, echo that. Time of possession almost even in the first period of play as you look at the statistics at the 14-yard line of Oklahoma. First down. There are Clack and Tex Wright are the running backs. Hans, the quarterback. There are Clack. He may lose a yard. The nose guard, John Blake, was there. They'll mark it at the 15. It'll be second down and 11. A report on Marcus Dupree. Rib injuries that when he fell. And they are going to x ray. And they think that it may be okay. They're going to tape him up and see how he feels. So we don't know as of yet whether or not he will return. He does not return. That's a big loss for Oklahoma. Second and 11, Hans to throw. Has all the time in the world. And the rule of the pass incomplete to right. He added in his hands and he bounced it one time. Jerry Sanders, strong side linebacker, was there for the Sooners. It will be third down and 11 at the Oklahoma 15 yard line. Here he is, a lot of time to throw the football. He doesn't find anybody open. Gets rid of the ball. And I noticed after the play, he was going over to, to right, explaining to him that he wanted to go in another another place, perhaps uh, a busted assignment. Time out now for Arizona State. But we are looking at the matchup that may decide the ball game. We talk about the offense of the Sooners against the defense of Arizona State. Now the Sooners offense is crippled in one respect without Marcus Dupree. Could well be the offense of Arizona State that is a little more versatile than Oklahoma against the Sooners defense, which is a good defense. And Oklahoma has had problems this year defending against the pass. Teams have been able to throw against it. Scott Hans, the quarterback for Arizona State, has thrown for 2,009 yards, eight touchdowns, 12 interceptions. Ironically, his first completion was to himself. What happened was Sandy Oshetsky, who was the starting quarterback, injured in the first play of the second quarter of the first game against Oregon. And then Hans came in. Now, this is his first appearance as a major college quarterback. The pass was deflected by an Oregon lineman. Hans had the reception, and he lost two yards on it. He'll learn not to receive them anymore. He'll bat it down. It's embarrassing, your first pass, yeah, right? To throw right it, it gets knocked right back in your face. But it is a completion, though. That's the good, <laughs> the good news is a completion. The bad news is it was to yourself. Third down and 11 at the 15-yard line of Oklahoma. With Clack and Wright, the running backs, they're split. Motion, Weatherspoon, far shot. Hans flips his on. He's in trouble. He throws. It is over the head of Ron Wetzel. Gerald Lowell had the blitz on coming from the secondary. And Lewis and Dejas will come in with a field goal attempt upcoming. Zendejas, 21 of 28 field goals, as long as 55. From Chino, California, only a sophomore, one of the fine kickers in the country from the 22-yard line. An attempt of 32 yards. Mike Black, the punter, holding. It is up. And it is good. So Arizona State is on the scoreboard as Zendejas hits from 32 yards away. The score, Oklahoma 7, the Sun Devils 3. We'll be back with the kickoff. The oldest and most prestigious of all bowl games. Quarterback Tom Ramsey leads the UCLA Bruins against Carter and Company from Michigan. Join Dick Enberg and Merlin Olsen for the granddaddy of them all, the Rose Bowl, a New Year's tradition on NBC Sports. We're back at the Fiesta Bowl. This is Charlie Jones along with Lynn Dawson. We have 14 minutes, 11 seconds left to go in the first half. Oklahoma leads 7 to 3. Luis Sindeas just kicking a 32-yard field goal. Charlie, I might bring up something. Now, you see him uh, getting used to that football. They are using two different types of footballs in this game. Now, Arizona State has their ball. Oklahoma has theirs. Darryl Rogers. He's got, his, he's got his football. But, it, uh, but uh, whenever you get possession of the football, you can have your own ball in there. All right, Stanley Wilson, number 32. Steve Sewell, number 13, set for the return of the kickoff. This will be down in the end zone. As Stanley Wilson started out and then was reminded he had 20 yards to go. Good move on his part. 
And so Oklahoma will move from their own 20-yard line first down. Now, the Sooners lead by four, seven to three. But in case you join us late, Marcus Dupree, a rib injury. It is questionable whether or not he will return. They're going to tape him up and see if he can return to the ball game. So now the Sooners really have their work cut out for them. However, they have excellent running backs with Stanley Wilson, Fred Sims, and Weldon Ledbetter. Dupree, 87 yards and nine carries. Now that's an average of 9.6 yards in this game. His long gainer, 56 yards. Inside handoff to Fred Sims. A gain of a couple to the 22. It'll be second down and eight. Vernon Maxwell, the linebacker, was there for the defense. Arizona State, good penetration by that defensive line. When, you, when you're meeting that back a yard or two, two yards deep in the backfield, you're shutting off the running game. Sims likes to run in the desert. He's from Tucson, about an hour's drive from here. Might point out to the, to the folks, too, that Arizona State, they generally play their games in the evening. This is something new for them. Wilson, the fullback, across the 25-yard line where Dwayne Galloway meets him, along with Mike Richardson. Ground-level shot. Here it is. No, let me correct it. Sims again. Fred Sims. Sims. Running the ball. Gets into the secondary. I just mentioned before the way to stop it is to hit it before it gets to the line of scrimmage. Once they get to the line of scrimmage, the great quickness of the, the backs for Oklahoma, they're going to pick up good yardage. Wilson in motion. On the option. Good defensive anticipation by Jim Jeffco. As Phelps is dropped for a loss. Number 93. Jim Jeffcoat, Arizona State feels that this fine defensive lineman could be a number one draft choice in the National Football League, and I was just talking about getting penetration. That is a good example of it. 93, Jim Jeffcoat. Lots of four, fourth and eight. Michael Keating will be kicking his second kick, 38 yards on his first kick of the Fiesta Bowl. Well, Scott Keegan set for the return. Last time they blocked the punt. Fields it at the 35. And he has four yards on the return to the 39-yard line. So the Arizona State offense will move on. A 53-yard kick by Michael Keeling. Marker's down on the play. So we'll have to check out the flag. Doing the run back, clipping on the kick return team. So the penalty against Arizona State, their head coach, Darrell Rogers, the record of Arizona State, 9-2 and two on the year, the Sooners' record, 8-3. and Darrell Rogers has done a great job. Last year, they were the number one offensive team in the nation. This year, they're the number one defensive team in the nation. As they step off the penalty, we'll step aside with a timeout. We'll be back in a moment. Twelve minutes and six seconds left to go in the first half of the Fiesta Bowl. This is Charlie Jones, Lynn Dawson. Oklahoma leading Arizona State 7-3. Sooners scoring first. Stanley Wilson from a half yard out on a 73-yard drive in eight plays. And then for ASU, Luis Centejas, a 32-yard field goal to make it 7-3. That's the scoring, but the story is that Marcus Dupree out with a rib injury. May return, may not return. We don't know yet. Arizona State on offense for their own 23-yard line first down. Hans fires quick out. Pass is complete. Far side. It is Jerome Weatherspoon with the reception. Dwight Drain makes the tackle. And that's the kind of excitement that you will be seeing all day today on NBC. Here at the Fiesta Bowl, the matchup, the defense of Arizona State, number one in the nation, the Sooners offense. We'll be moving on then to the Rose Bowl, the granddaddy of them all. Michigan going against UCLA. Dick Inberg and Merlin Olsen are there. And from that stage, we will move to Miami, the Orange Bowl, Nebraska, and LSU, and the pageantry of the football in the Orange Bowl. So sit back and relax and spend the afternoon with us, as later today also we'll be naming our most valuable player here at the Fiesta Bowl from each team. First down, following the 10-yard game, way overthrown. 
Ryan Wetzel, the intended receiver. It'll be second down and 10 as Keith Stanberry and Steve Hayworth had the defensive coverage and they couldn't get to the football end. It's a good thing he threw it that far because it was going to be intercepted. Now you have to have protection to throw the football. Taking a look at the offensive line of Arizona State. 79 Mazers just getting pushed right back in the face of the quarterback. That's the thing you can't permit to happen. You have to stop the charge of that defensive lineman. Todd Hans passing on about a bar with the quarterback of Oklahoma. Kelly Phelps, 3 of 10, is 30 percent, only 28 yards. He puts it in the air again. Far side, this one is pulled down, one foot inbounds, no. Doug Allen, the intended receiver, Dwight Drain at the defensive coverage. Oklahoma has been putting pressure on Todd Hans, the quarterback of Arizona State. Here you're looking at it once again. 93 is Tom Clemens. He's coming in. He's going to get a shot at that quarterback. Believe me, that hurts. He's getting rid of the ball before he wants to. That time the ball took off on him, was high, and the receiver was unable to catch the ball and stay in bound. Clemens, number 93 from Alton, Oklahoma State, high school heavyweight wrestling champion for three years. Hans again with pressure. Throws the time is complete. This is a speech for Ron Brown on the receiving end from Baldwin Park, California. Hans was really decked. He is slow getting up, but he's all right. Dwight Green with the tackle. An excellent throw by Todd Hahn because he got hit just as he got rid of the football. 23-yard pass, a first down. You're going to see it. This is, I think, three times in a row. He's thrown the ball three times in a row. He has been decked by that Oklahoma defense. The name of the game is protecting the quarterback. Excellent throw right there. And if this man happened to get free on the sidelines, you could forget it. He runs 100 yards in about 9.2 seconds. World-class sprinter. First down, Oklahoma 43-yard line. Counter Alvin Moore. And the Sun Devils are on a roll to the 32-yard line. Gain of 11. Back-to-back, -back, first down. Kevin Murphy with the tackle. Mike White back in that offensive line for the Sun Devils, a gain of 11. From behind, this is a draw play. He's been getting a lot of pressure from that defensive line. One way to combat that is to run the draw play, which makes the defensive lineman take a look at the back before they really level on the quarterback. Alvin Moore, number nine. With five carries and a total of 29 yards rushing, 32-yard line of Oklahoma. First down. Oklahoma leads seven to three. Daryl Clack and the defense awaits him. Keith Stanbury, strong safety, reading the play. He's from Mount Pleasant, Texas, and a second team all Big Eight selection. We're talking about Arizona State as number one defensive team in the nation. Well, Oklahoma has been getting great penetration. That was a fine play by that safety man, Keith Stanbury. A loss of five. It'll be second down 15 at the Oklahoma 37 yard line. to throw. This one sails high over Alvin Moore's head. So it'll be third down and 15. This is Charlie Jones, Lynn Dawson here at the Fiesta Bowl, the 12th Fiesta Bowl, the first meeting of Arizona State and Oklahoma. The Sooners lead it 7-3, to three, but in first downs, ASU leads Oklahoma 7-3. to three. It is that kind of a ball game with Stanley Wilson scoring from a half yard out for the Sooners and then Luis Zendejas of Arizona State, a 32-yard field goal. The report on Marcus Dupree, he has a rib injury. We do not know if he'll be back in the ball game. They're down 15. Hans is sandwiched at the 39-yard line. His receiver fell down. Tom Flemings and Bob Slater were falling on Todd Hans at about the same time. We'll take another look. Doug Allen is number 82 going downfield, trying to make a move. He makes the move, but unfortunately his feet get away from him. Unfortunately for Arizona State, that was one time when the quarterback had time to throw the football, but the receiver fell down. Now Marcus Dupree has just come out of the locker room and is on the far side, has his jersey on. He may be back in action. Scott Case is set to return the kick of Mike Black. He goes to the opposite side, trying to draw the defenders. It goes out at about a half yard away from the end line. As Ardell Scott was down very quickly for Arizona State. Here it is. 
Talk about Black as a kicker. One of the things he does exact very, very well is kick it out of bounds. He did it that time. We'll be back in just a moment. Here is a big, big play. Number 17, Ardell Scott, a reserve running back, makes a hit, knocks it out of bounds on the one-yard line. Oklahoma definitely has their back to the wall. One thing they have to be concerned about, a penalty in the end zone, a fumble in the end zone, getting tackled in the end zone. I look for them to run that ball straight ahead. Maybe even the quarterback will take the football and go straight ahead. And like you, I saw the, I saw the play marked out at about the one-yard line, but officially they have it just inside the three. Fred Sims and Weldon Ledbetter are the running back. Fumble. There is a fumble in the end zone. It'll be a safety. Two points for the Sun Devils. Listen to the crowd. Number 93 for the defense. Trying to operate the wishbone. That is very, very risky when you're down around the goal line because the one problem that Oklahoma has and has had in the past is fumbles operating the wishbone. That time it worked against them. Two points for Arizona State. And they're going to get the football when we come back in just a moment. On behalf of Oklahoma University, we would like to wish you all a happy, happy new, new year. year. All right, thank you, Sooners. Now, here's the situation. It's a free kick from the 20-yard line following the safety. Now, safety costs two points. A lot of times it can cost you five points because the receiving team comes up starting with excellent field position, at least within field goal range. Let's see what happens. Ron Brown and Scott Keegan are the deep backs on the return. Here is Keegan to the 40, to the 45, to the 50. Here's the field position down the sidelines and out of bounds. That is exactly what we were talking about. A flag, I believe, is going to go down for a hit out of bounds. And the pack yarded on to the play. So a costly safety. Here's another look at Keegan. You are exactly right, Charlie. Excellent field position after the safety. And I believe they're going to attack, as you said, some additional yards on Oklahoma because of a late hit. It was not that hit. It was later on. Here you're going to see the hit when he is out of bounds. He's knocked out of bounds right there. Now he is about four or five yards out of bounds. And here comes his hit. I believe the call, it may have been on Keeling, but he wasn't there. The next man there was number 15. So we'll take another, let's look at the end of it. Yes, it is. It's very, very unnecessary. That's not a late hit. That's, no, a hit. that's a legitimate hit right there. But you can see how far out of bounds he is. All right, but watch how long he takes. That's the hit right there. By number 15, are you ready? He is not listed on the <laughs> roster. I knew it would happen. But that is the late hit on old number 15. So Arizona State has the football. At the 21-yard line of Oklahoma, Marcus Dupree on the sideline. We will know, of course, when Oklahoma moves on offense and he comes back in the ballgame. A career return of 49 yards for Scott Keegan. Arizona State starting 21 yards away. Hans, the pass is complete. A great reception by Jerry Weatherspoon. He had to turn all the way around. A 360-degree turn. The pass over the shoulder to White Gray. Eight-yard line, first down. Not really a great pass, but, but the thing is, the defensive man had his back to the ball. He had absolutely no idea where it was going. You can see right there that he had no idea where it was going. The receiver did. He turned around, made a fine catch. Inside the 10-yard line, first and goal to go for Arizona State. Jerome Weatherspoon on the receiving end, a 14-yard play. Regular season, 20 reception. 362 yards, an average of only of over 18 yards for Weatherspoon. Darrell Clack, he'll lose a couple of yards to the 10. It'll be second down and goal to go. Thomas Benson, strong side linebacker from Ardmore, Oklahoma, was there. Charlie, I think you can see why Arizona State has decided to throw the football because they are not having success running the ball, particularly when they go sideways. Here, Oklahoma's getting good penetration, meeting the backs in the backfield that time. Instead of being on the eight-yard line where they originally started, they're back on the 10. Running backs, Alvin Moore and Tex Wright. From the 10, second down, goal to go. Hunt, quick slam, 
bounces off of Scott Case, the defender, Doug Allen, the intended receiver. I believe a misread. He was looking for a cut inside. Receiver went outside. Well, whatever he's doing, Hans is just going back and throwing the ball regardless of what is happening. He's got to take a look at his man. He hit the defensive back, Scott Case, right in the back. On six that's completions type, that's out the of 15. That's the type of pass you got to get up over and lob it up. The defensive man heads it back to the line of scrimmage, and the offensive man heads it the best shot at catching the football. Third down goal to go. Hans is thrown for 66 yards against the Sooner secondary. Now he has pressure, drops this one on. Underneath the coverage is dropped by Dwayne Tex Wright. So it will be fourth down goal to go at the 10 yard line. And here's the situation. It is Oklahoma 7, Arizona State 5, and Lewis and Dejas is coming in with a field goal attempt. He has hit from 32 yards away in this ball game. He is one for one. His career long is 55 yards. He'll be kicking for the 17, an attempt of 27 yards. Now, the Sooners scored first. Stanley Wilson from a half yard away. Then Zendejas, the 32-yard field goal. Then they caught Oklahoma in a safety for two more. And a flag dropped, and they'll be sorting that out as I'm updating you on just what has happened to this point. It is Oklahoma 7 and ASU 5. It's amazing, isn't it? And, and exactly what we <laughs> thought would happen is following the safety. Excellent field position. encroachment, defense. Called against Oklahoma. Now, we're starting off football on NBC in 1983 with a Fiesta Bowl here. Arizona State University trailing by two, but a chance here to go out in front of the Oklahoma Sooners. First time these two teams have met. Then we'll be moving on to the Rose Bowl. Michigan and UCLA, Dick Enberg and Merlin Olson will be there. Merlin, the Grand Marshal of the Tournament of Roses Parade, then to Nebraska and LSU in the Orange Bowl with Don Crickey and John Brody. Kick from the 12-yard line, an attempt of 22 yards. Then Dayhawk has a perfect day going, and Arizona State leads by one. Eight to seven. Don't go away. We've got a good one. We'll be back with a kickoff. We are back with 7.41 left to go in the first half. And Luis Zendejas is kicking off. For the Sooners, Stanley Wilson and Steve Sewell are the deep backs. This one is taken at the one-yard line by Stanley Wilson. A flag has been dropped. And Wilson is dropped by Marquette. So we'll come back and have to sort out the flag. Marcus Dupree is coming back into the ball game. Good news for Oklahoma. Charlie, I'm impressed with Hicks, 94, on the defensive lineman. He ran that ball carrier down. We were talking about the great speed on both sides. I think that was displayed that time. Number 22, Marcus Dupree. Back in the lineup for Oklahoma. That is good news. The bad news is they were clipping on it. There he is, number 94. Comes up limping. That's Mark Hicks, the linebacker. He might have pulled a muscle running after that back. He displayed great speed. Once again, Oklahoma's going to be backed up. The last time they had the football, you recall, they were on about the three-yard line. Cost them two points. Going to return, clipping, on the receiving team. So we're going to 28. Now, let me have your attention for a moment for a quick update. That number 15 that was not listed on the uh, depth chart is hidden within the Sooners press guide is number 15 Philip Shones the backup split in and so for all of his friends in Oklahoma we now know who he is and that invariably happens when each ball club suits out about a hundred ball players well, that's the time he doesn't want to be identified that's though. right to the 20 yard line to the 30 yard line Kelly Phelps the quarterback Richardson is the man who makes the stop, and the backs are leading for the center. Phelps has great speed for a quarterback. You take a look at the backs. 22 is Dupree. 32 is Wilson. Good block by Dupree. He's all right. 32, Wilson is out in front, leading the ball carrier. Phelps with 4-5 speed in the 40. Outstanding run. The Sooners are at the 45-yard line, and they are on the move. Gain of 29 for Kelly Phelps, a senior from Oklahoma City. Here's 
Dupree jumps to the outside, slips a couple of tackles. Rolls over two Sun Devils for an additional three yards before Paul Boyer, the strong safety, and Brian Caldwell, the defensive end, stop it. Charlie, I was talking to the, to the officials prior to the game, and they were talking about this man, Dupree, and they said he runs straight up. When he learns how to lower that shoulder, he's really going to be devastating. He lowered it right here, and you see the results. Arizona State's defensive backs, Paul Boyer, number four, went flying backwards. Dupree, 235 pounds. And he already has 95 yards in this game and 1,000 on the season. The fullback, Weldon Ledbetter from St. Louis. He's a senior. He carries Brian Caldwell as the man who stops him. And you can see the pickup in that sooner offense with the return of Marcus Dupree. You certainly can. Dupree is going out of the ball game right now. Plays being sent in by... Barry Switzer and the offensive coach, Mike Jones. Gain of five and a first down at the ASU 41-yard line. Here in the Fiesta Bowl, it is Arizona State University 8 and Oklahoma 7 with Oklahoma on the move. We're in the second quarter. This is Phelps around the corner again and down the sideline. Diving to the 24-yard line, Paul Moyer is the man who finally stopped him. Sooner scoring first, Stanley Wilson with a touchdown. Then it's been all Arizona State. A pair of field goals by Zendayas and a safety, but Kelly Phelps is bringing the Sooners back. Take a look at number 23 at, at the right of your side. You don't see it, but Sims made an outstanding block for the quarterback, chopping down a defensive uh, man for Arizona State. Now that's two carries uh, for Phelps. Two outstanding runs, two first downs. Phelps picking up 15 yards on the last play as Stanley Wilson gets the call. Wilson has four yards to the 20-yard line, second down and six. Marcus Dupree coming back in the ball game, so apparently he is all right. I'm sure what they're going to do, they're going to spell him. They'll bring in uh, Fred Sims, number 23, alternating with Marcus Dupree, and Sims is an outstanding back also. Second down and six at the Arizona State 20-yard line. back through with a high handoff is Stanley Wilson. But Wilson has five to the 15. Only third down and a yard. Mike Langston, the Sun Devils, making the tackle at that point. Stanley Wilson, number 32, the fullback, really is an outstanding player. And here is a player that has a lot of determination, a lot of drive, as you can see on this, this ball carry right there. He's also an outstanding blocker. And he really compliments the other running backs, particularly Marcus Dupree for Oklahoma. Marcus Dupree gets a lot of the yardage net, but this man right there, Stanley Wilson, makes that offense go in the backfield. Wilson, he carries 26 yards thus far. And it is Wilson again. And that is tough yardage. Has the first down near the 11-yard line. Vernon Maxwell, the All-America, stops it. Here it is, the fullback, number 32, Stanley Wilson. He's running with his head up. He knows the, to get his head down when 54 Maxwell comes in, though, but he's he's the workhorse right now. Fourth down situation for Oklahoma. First down. Excuse first me, down. fourth down. No, it's got to be a first down. The marker was wrong. We were right. Okay. On the pitch. Chet Winters, the senior from Jacksonville, Arkansas. Maxwell there for the defense. On the track. The first down at the 12-yard line where this play started. And they will place the ball again at the 12-yard line. So it'll be no gain second down and 10. In rushing for Oklahoma, Dupree 95 yards, Wilson 29 yards, and Phelps, the quarterback, 37 yards. 37 yards on two carries, I believe. That's right. Second down and 10. On the option, Dupree diving to the two-yard line. This will be close to a first down. Ryan Caldwell making the tackle. Marcus Dupree, during the regular season, four 100-yard games at 166 yards against Missouri. I think you just saw number 32, Wilson, making a fine block. I had mentioned that he really makes that offense go as far as the backs are concerned here it is 32 makes a block the pitch is an excellent one just as he gets hit now here's a 235 pound load marcus dupree getting it down is it 
I believe it's just maybe just just short of the first down. So it'll be third down and inches. Dupree now in this ball game, the 12th Fiesta Bowl, 104 yards rushing. We're still in the first half, and that is his fifth ball game as and a collegiate over 100 yards. And also he left. He went to the locker room for. Well, yeah, he took, of time he took about of 15 minutes off because That's of the rib injury. Well, if, if his rib is hurting, he's displaying that he can't play with pain. Third down and inches, two-yard line. I don't think there's anything worse than a rib injury for a football player because you can't even take a deep breath without hurting. What did I stake myself? He just wanted those inches in the first down, so he'll have more opportunities to operate. Oklahoma led 7 nothing. They now trail by 1-8-7. Here's that offensive line. Dr. Death, number 76, <laughs> love Steve it. Williams. He got a good charge, knocked his man backwards, picked up the first down. Now you got to figure they've got four shots to get into the end zone. What they must be aware of now is do not fumble the football. First down at the 1. Dupree and Wilson in the backfield. This is Wilson, and he is there. Stanley Wilson, the senior, has his second touchdown of the ball game. Oklahoma back in front. Wilson, 10 carries, 30 yards, two touchdowns. Here it is, straight ahead. Offensive blocking by Oklahoma, giving the ball to Wilson now. I believe they're going to go for two points. Straight ahead. Head is down. Legs are driving. Six points for Oklahoma. They're going to try to make eight because they are going for two points. Oklahoma 13 to eight. The reason, of course, being it would make it 15 to eight. And that is exact seven points away on the option. Here's Dupree. He is hit. Stays on his feet. Cannot get in. Warrior, the strong safety, is the man who stopped him. And Mark X was also there, but it is number four, the strong safety. And we'll take a timeout as Oklahoma has regained the lead. Suitors out in front, 13 to 8. We'll be back in a moment. Stay with us at halftime. We'll be switching back to New York City and Lynn Berman. He will have highlights of the first half of this ball game. And we have some great highlights. Also, a look at uh, the upcoming games on NBC today. The matchup between Michigan and UCLA and the granddaddy of them all, the Rose Bowl, and then Nebraska and LSU, the pageantry of the Orange Bowl. And right now, the barefoot kicker, Michael Keeling from Dallas, will be kicking off to either Daryl Clack or Mike Cage. Oklahoma leading 13 to 8. Clack to the 20, the 25, back to the 30. Outstanding return. Arizona State at their own 35. Dwight Drain with the tackle. So let's see now what the Sun Devils can get going. Clack on the day, two carries, 57 yards. This, this, this is a freshman, number 42, Daryl Clack. Arizona State. They feel that he is in the class of Marcus Dupree. They say that he has as much or more speed than Marcus Dupree. And when you're talking about running 100-yard dash, you're talking about 9-5 speed. Arizona State from their own 35-yard line inside handoff to Alvin Moore. Flag is down. Moore crosses the 50-yard line. Kevin Murphy was there for the Sooners making the tackle, but we'll have to see about the marker. Keith Stanberry at number six. Offside Oklahoma. Come on! Penalty offsides against the Sooners. Reviews first down at the Oklahoma 49-yard line. A gain of 16 yards on the play. In the penalties, Oklahoma 46 yards. Arizona State only one for 15. Alvin Moore, 45 yards rushing and 16 carries. On the throw. In the coverage, knocked down by Scott Case. And Case was in a perfect position to make an interception. Should not have thrown that ball. He's going right at the defensive man. 
very easily could have been intercepted. Looks like when Hans makes up his mind where he's going to throw, he's going to throw it regardless. And there you see it on the line. Number 10, Case says, excellent position. Very easily could have intercepted that ball. Hans, the junior quarterback from Torrance, California. Second down, 10. They're double covering the wide receivers. That's the time you got to go inside either the tight end or the backs. There goes the tight end. He moved uh, before he should have, and I'm sure it's going to be on Arizona State. We pause briefly for station identification. This is the NBC Television Network. Channel 23, KNDO, Yakima. This is Charlie Jones, Lynn Dawson. We're at the 12th Fiesta Bowl, the first meeting of Arizona State in Oklahoma. It is Oklahoma 13 and ASU 8. And right now, Arizona State has the football on their own 45-yard line, second down and 15. led 7-0 Arizona State got out in front 8-7 with two field goals and a safety Oklahoma back in front 13-7 on the reverse Alvin Moore reversing his own field bucked out of bounds at the 45 the hole was closed on the right side so he just took a single reverse and ran right into Mike Weddington the first man to get to him Scott Case the second at the 45 he did a good thing though Charlie getting out of bounds stopping the clock Stopping the clock is good if they pick up the first down. It's not so good if they don't because they'll have to give the ball back to Oklahoma. Oklahoma 13, Arizona State 8. We're in the first half of the Fiesta Bowl. And we've got a good one going here. The offensive Sooners against the defense of the Sun Devils. So far, it's kind of worked out the other way with the Sun Devils offense and Oklahoma's defense. Hot fires. It is low. One hop incomplete. Ron Brown, the intended receiver, and he slipped as he made his cut. Mike Weddington was putting the pressure on. Hans now 6 of 18. World-class spinner Ron Haas, number 30, going to come down and try to turn inside. He slipped right there. The ball was underthrown anyway. Now it's a situation. Arizona's got to kick the ball away to Oklahoma. And that very explosive running game of the Oklahoma Sooner. Mike Black kicking below his average 37 yards in this ball game on the season above 44 yards. Now Scott Case is looking right into the sun as he sets for the return. Kind of a semi fair catch signal that is chased into the end zone. Flags are down. The reason the flag is dropped is that it will be a touchback. Boy, excellent coverage by Arizona State. Case did not have a chance. He couldn't see the football. No, he could not. A good point that you made. The sun is shining. and shining right in his face. That was an excellent punt. Unfortunately, they went into the end zone. 54 yards on the punt. Arizona State will take over. First and 10 on the 20-yard line. And the Sooners are leading by the score of 13 to 8. For Oklahoma, Marcus Dupree and Stanley Wilson, the running back. Oklahoma leading 13 to 8. Sun Devils record at home. This is their home stadium. 136 wins. They don't lose a lot here. This now, is their home, but they're the visitors. They're the visiting team. That's the Fiesta Bowl. Stanley Wilson. Wilson almost at 25 yard line. Paul Moyer with the tackle. And it has been the senior from Carson, California, known as a good blocker. All Big Ten is a junior, second team is a senior, but he has scored the two touchdowns for Oklahoma. He's a what you call a good money ball player. He's the type of guy that can do a lot of things for a football team, and he's, he is the motivator out there. He's an inspirational type of football player. The type of player you love to have on your team. Dupree on the pitch. Across the 30, out of bounds at about the 33-yard line. He'll pick up eight yards. He's got the first down. Mike Richardson, number 25 for Arizona State, the free safety, and the two-time All-America from Compton, California, who has a block punt in this ball game, was the man there for the defense. Dupree now rushing 113 yards for the freshman. Wilson is 35. Phelps is 38. The average 9.4 yards per carry. <laughs> He's only 18 years old. That's amazing. 6'2", 235 pounds. Phelps on the option. Dupree on the pitch. 
across the 40 and out at the 42-yard line. A gain of nine. It'll be second and one. Moyer and Richardson for Arizona State. That's his running average right there, nine yards. Here it is, the option play coming down the line. Phelps pitches it out to number 22, Dupree. Blockers out front. Number 13 is Steve Sewell. Now, with Oklahoma, if you're a so-called receiver, you better be able to block because they're going to run with a football and you're leading the charge. That time, Sewell did a fine job of blocking for Dupree. Uh-oh. Long to Dupree. He's open. And it's incomplete. Little play action. Galloway with the coverage. Now, Dupree, in case you weren't with us earlier, fell, knocked the wind out of himself, and had a, a rib injury problem. He's taped up. He falls again, and he falls right on that chest and right on those ribs that are hurting. Oklahoma's only thrown the ball a couple of times. I think they must only have about two or three different types of pass patterns. They've thrown the ball twice, and it's been the same type of pass, going deep and straight up the sideline. And they're over two through the air. I guess that's why Barry <laughs> Switzer puts the ball on the ground. For Arizona State, quarterback on, 6 of 17 for 66 yards throwing. On the keeper, around the corner. With the first down, Mike Richardson. Richardson knocking Kelly Phelps out of bounds. It'll be a first down. They'll mark him out at the ASU 48-yard uh, 48 48 line. So he picks up 10 yards. 116 left to go in the first half. It's Oklahoma 13. Arizona State 8, and the Sooners are on the move. They started back at their own 20-yard line. Screen to the backside to Wilson, and it is incomplete. As Phelps with pressure rolling to the right side, throwing back left with a screen. And Mark Hicks was there for the defense. Well, they've yet to complete a forward pass. Number 32 is Wilson. He's involved in the screen. Maxwell saw it. He read that. The ball was high. Unable to catch the football. But number 54, Maxwell, when he saw that they were letting him in too easily, he said, wait a minute, something's wrong here. They're not supposed to do that. He turned around, saw that Wilson was out there, and went out in the flat with it. 1-11 remaining in the first half. The receiver was open. Number 82, Paul Bush, who had nine receptions during the regular season, and uh, he just flat missed him. He was wide, wide open. open. Yes. Third and ten from the 40. Rolling to his right, which should be easier for him to throw because he is right-handed. The Cluis was wide open. That would have been a, been a big game for Oklahoma. And be with us at halftime. We'll be switching to New York City and Lynn Berman. And Lynn will be uh, giving you the highlights of the first half, which there are quite a few. And also a look at the upcoming games today. We'll go right from here to the Rose Bowl and then on to the Orange Bowl. So stay with us as we open 1983 with Bowl Saturday. Here's Fred Sims. Sims fights his way to the 34-yard line. 14 yards, first down. Mitch Callahan with the tackle. Number 54 and 14. That's 54. Maxwell, he is blocked very well by Oklahoma. Sims gets around, and I believe they fooled Arizona State on that. Defensive back Galloway went right by him. We'll get a timeout. timeout. We'll be back. We have one minute remaining in the first half of the Fiesta Bowl. Oklahoma leading Arizona State 13 to 8 on a perfect afternoon for football. About 60 degrees. Not a cloud in the sky. It is gorgeous in Tempe, Arizona. So we start with the Fiesta Bowl. Then we'll be moving on to the Rose Bowl, Michigan and UCLA, and the Orange Bowl, Nebraska and LSU. So start 83 with NBC. Marcus Dupree, 121 yards rushing with a minute to go in the first half, and he missed almost 15 minutes out with that rib problem. Here's Dupree. No, it is Sims. Fred 
Sims, a sophomore from Tucson, averaging almost five and a half yards a carry. Moyer and Galloway with a stop. Number 25, Richardson, the two-time All-American. Number 54, another All-American right there, Maxwell, coming all the way all the way from his right position to the left to make the stop. That was number 23, Fred Sims. We correct ourselves on the call. Little play action. Flag is down. Pass is knocked away. It is intercepted. It will be ASU's ball, but there was a marker. Mitch Callahan, number 99, with the interception. We may have seen the last of the forward pass for Oklahoma for the day, Charlie. They have yet to complete one. That one intercepted. Here it is. The heat is on. Callahan coming up, and if, and if his own men hadn't knocked him over, there's a possibility that he could have advanced it onto the goal line. Mitch Callahan, big play for him. Defensive linemen do not get the opportunity very often to intercept passes. In fact, that's the first of his career. However, he did score a touchdown, and that was uh, falling on a fumble in the end zone during the regular season. Now, Arizona State from their own 38 yard line, first down. Alvin Moore and Tex Wright running back. Hans drops over the middle to Alvin Moore. Near the 50-yard line, a gain of 12. It'll be a first down. 13 seconds left to go in the first half. Kevin Murphy and Scott Case were there for the defense. Now remember that Arizona State has Luis Sendejas, a 55-yard field goal. That means for the 45-yard line, that means the 38-yard line for the snap, and that means that Arizona State needs only about 12 to 13 more yards They're within field goal range. They can get it. The defensive backs for Oklahoma, they're playing very deep. They're guarding against the touchdown. There's areas down there that they can throw. They've got 13 seconds remaining. What they have to do is go down about 20 yards and curl to the inside, find that open area, and have that quarterback deliver the ball. You want them curling back towards the quarterback. Yes, you do. And they have one timeout remaining. So that sets the situation here for the dramatic close of the first half. Now you saw the snapper, David Oden of Phoenix. And Dejas would be the kicker. The holder is the punter, Mike Black. So it is Oden to Black to the foot of Zendejas. But first things first, Sun Devils must pick up 12 to 14 yards in about 13 seconds. Officially 13 seconds. In rushing, Oklahoma 235 yards. ASU 47. Passing, ASU 78 and Oklahoma 0. Darrell Clack. Out of bounds, stopping the clock. Hans has taken a beating. He has really been taking a beating. He had his wide receivers going down and curling to the inside, but the pressure was there once again. The best defense against the pass, getting to the quarterback. He gets rid of the ball, but look what happens to him after he gets rid of the football. Three Oklahoma defensive men on his back. Oklahoma 43-yard line. They still need six or seven more yards. Is complete Alvin Moore. That's what they wanted. That is exactly what Arizona State wanted. They will use their last time out. One second left to go in the first half. Let's see, the kick is going to be from where? It's the line of scrimmage will be the 37. It'll be from about the 44, an attempt of 54 yards. And his longest, 55. 55. Home field advantage to a kicker and to a holder. Is that a factor? You better believe it's a, it's a factor. They are familiar with this field. They are familiar with the wind, if there is any wind. It doesn't look like there's much wind right now. Might be a little advantage to the fact that the sun is to his back. No problem of seeing the ball, of looking into the sun as if they were going the other way. Darrell Rogers, head coach of the Sun Devils of Arizona State University. Luis Zendejas, 5'9", 186-pound sophomore. NCAA record of 15 straight field goals. He's already set that in his young career. Has never missed an extra point. But 54 yards out. He's got it! The 
the picture says it all. We're at halftime. Oklahoma 13, Arizona State 11. Sendejas of the statistics. Well, take a look at it. 238 yards rushing for Oklahoma. The next one tells the story, too. They have no yards passing. Really looking at statistics, you say the Sun Devils really are fortunate to be as close as they are after the first half. But they are an explosive team. They can throw and can run with the football. I look uh, more for from the number 42 of the Arizona State team, Daryl Clack. He's a freshman, and they say he is an outstanding player. He really hasn't had much of an opportunity to do anything in the first half, though. Ah, but Luis Zendejas, three field goals of 32, 22, and 54 yards, his second longest of his career, only a sophomore as long as his 55. The 54-yarder ties the Fiesta Bowl record. They also had a safety. And it is 13 to 11 Oklahoma. Oklahoma with two touchdowns by Stanley Wilson. After the second touchdown, they went for the two points and they did not convert. So now we will open the second half of play here at the Fiesta Bowl. And the Fiesta Bowl is more than a football game. We had the pleasure yesterday of riding in the Fiesta Bowl parade. We want to say a, a special hello to all of our friends at the Special Olympics. Uh, they're they're close. Beautiful, beautiful children. Really great, and we had what about 400,000 people? That Almost 400,000 people. Parade. Absolutely. The Special Olympics float was a very special float yesterday. Applause all the way down. All right, here we go. Second half of the Fiesta Ball as Zendejas kicks it away. Stanley Wilson on the return. Wilson to the 32-yard line. 32 yards on the return. And it'll be a first down. Now, offensively for Oklahoma, Phelps, Wilson, and Dupree. These, this will be the normal set. Sewell, Clouse, and the tight end, Fontenelle. That offensive line, Hubble, Parker, Thomas, Williams, and Burke. Now, change at center as Ferrer replacing Chuck Thomas. He is out with a hamstring. All right, here goes the Sooners offense from the 32-yard line. They lead by two, 13 to 11. to the 40 to the 20 12 yard line well if you are wondering if the injury in the first half is going to have any effect on this young man the answer is no off and running a touchdown-saving tackle by number 14, Dwayne Galloway. Marcus Dupree, 235 pounds, a 9-5, 100-yard dash man. He is a freshman, just 18 years of age. He was injured in the first half, but he's showing no side effects of an injury. Dupree now with 177 yards. We'll be back. Favorite way to fly, and by Xerox, advancing office productivity worldwide. Here we go, 12-yard line, first down. Dupree with 177 yards rushing. This is Marcus Sim. The 177 yards is now Dupree's all-time best game, and he is already second in the Fiesta Bowl, and we still have all kinds of time left. Uh, 202 yards, the record at the, uh, at the Fiesta Bowl. Woody Green from Arizona State has that record. Dupree can get it in a hurry. Sim, 34 yards, rushing, second down six, eight-yard line. And the pride of Oklahoma is here, the Sooner Band. First back through is Stanley Wilson. Wilson has scored the two touchdowns. Vernon Maxwell makes it tight. Let's look at that defense for the Sun Devils. It's the number one defensive team in the country. Jeff Coat, Callahan, and Caldwell, the front three, the linebackers. Maxwell, Battle, Williams, and Hicks. And at secondary, Galloway, Montgomery, Moyer, and Richardson. Now, Scott Keegans has come in for Mario Montgomery, who was shaken up at the end of Marcus Dupree's last run. Six-yard line. It is third down. Third down four. Bumble. Bumble. Some Devils have the ball. Phelps fumbled it. And let's see who came up with it. They're still unpiling them. Number 50. Number 50, Brian Caldwell. Here it is, way high. He was trying to give it to the fullback, but he had it up around his chin. 
problem being there with that wishbone, you don't really look at the stomach of the re ball carrier. So Arizona State takes over at their own eight-yard line. We'll be back. Coach of the Oklahoma Sooners. That tells the story for Oklahoma, giving the football away. Arizona State now from their own eight-yard line, first down. Alvin Moore. Moore a couple of yards to the 10 where he's stopped by Bob Slater. It'll be second down and eight offensively for the Sun Devils. Todd Hans, the quarterback. Dwayne Wright and Alvin Moore. Now Moore and Daryl Clack will alternate at tailback. Weatherspoon, Allen, and Wetzel. Wetzel the tall tight end. And that offensive line of White, Mackey, Shep, Showers, and Keaton. Sowers and Keaton. Hawn is in there as an offensive guard. He'll be in there. Mackey was in there at the start. So those are the basic changes. Also, we'll see Ron Brown in along with Doug Allen as a wide receiver. From the 10-yard line, second down and eight. Hawn does not have much pressure. Now he does. Tries to get around the corner, but he loses five yards back to the five where Daryl Goodlow got him. It'll be third down and about 13. That is not the direction you want to go when you're scrambling. Uh, he, he had an opportunity, should go straight ahead. Trying to outrun this Oklahoma team, it's not very easy to do because they have great speed. 49, Jackie Ship running him down, knocking him out of bounds. And they're in a deeper hole right now. Boy, and Todd Hans is taking a beating. He when he throws, he takes a beating after he releases the ball, and he takes a beating when he scrambles. Third down, 13. They don't want to make a mistake down here. Sooners were there to greet Alvin Moore, Rick Bryant, the All-America for Coweta, Oklahoma, and Bob Slater, the junior from Tulsa. They were not full on that play. Both defensive linemen, they were about three yards deep in the backfield. So now, Mike Black will be kicking. He will not have a lot of room to get it off. He'll have to get it off in a hurry. Steve Hayworth and Scott Case can give the Sooners excellent field position, but they are looking directly into the sun, as you can see from their shadows. Black's average 41 yards in this ball game, as long as 56 yards. Fair catch is called for it. He sails this one back to the 39. It was not a fair catch. It was Hayward shielding his eyes from the sun. But a super kick by Mike Black. The Sooners have good field position, but not great field position. A 57-yard kick by Mike Black to Scott Cave. So Oklahoma goes to work at their own 46-yard line. Sooners out in front, 13 to 11. We're in the third quarter with Fred Sims and Stanley Wilson, the two running backs, and the second back through is Sims. Line of scrimmage, and that is it. A fumble has a play been blown dead. Yes. Blown dead at the 46-yard line. No gain, second and 10. And an exhibition by the number one defensive team in the nation. And that's the defensive backs for Arizona State really stick people. Number 14, Dwayne Galloway, came up to make a real fine hit. Here it is, Sims coming, trying to go to his right side. Not much there, but right there, number 14, Dwayne Galloway. Defensive back, makes a solid hit on the ball carrier. Second down and 10. Belt throws far side, has a man there, and he drops it. That was a catchable ball. Johnny popped the net, the tight end. He finally got a shot for a completion. The ball is there. Martinet could not hold on. He is he has the one no. touchdown via the pass for Oklahoma this year. Scratch that. It was not Fontanet. It was 89. David Carter, the sophomore from Altus, Oklahoma. Today's attendance, 70,553. Second largest in Fiesta Bowl history and uh, about 500 plus more than the stadium seats. Third down, 10. 46-yard line. Second back through is Sim. He'll get a couple of yards, and that will be all as Mike Richardson, the free safety. Two-time All-America was there. And I think you're going to see why he is a two-time All-American. Number 25, 
Mike Richardson. Here he is, man in motion. That's his man. He's going with him. He's reading the play, and he reacts. He reads run, makes a solid hit on Sims, and brings him down. Now, that's two good shots that Sims has taken from Mike Richardson there, the All-American. Galloway also hit him two plays earlier. Michael Keeling. He'll be kicking as a 40.5-yard average. Pressure is on. He's going to throw the pass. It is complete. A flag is down. So are a lot of the offensive, offensive line. Offensive line down. was everybody was downfield. Finally completed the pass, and it was by the punter. In out the receivers downfield. He did not want to throw that football. It skipped. He saw pressure coming up the middle. He had already had one blocked on him he throws the ball downfield everybody is quite surprised but you can see 52 is an offensive lineman he is downfield and it's a loss of down penalty so ASU will have the football and also man downfield it's a loss of down first down white the Oklahoma 43 yard line first down we'll take a timeout Oklahoma 13 Arizona State 11 Barry Switzer is helping the officials we'll be back what does a man of it in 45 seconds left to go third quarter Arizona State at the Oklahoma 43 yard line on the throw it is complete with a tackle all right they kept the quarterback upright here it is the offensive line they've been giving away a lot a lot of pressure on the quarterback but he had good time to throw the ball there most of the time he is after throwing the football charlie he's been on his back but the line did a good job it was a good throw and it's a first down no second down for arizona state second down and a yard on to pressure steps away steps away again now he throws a fly downfield pass is complete to Tony Lombardi, but there was a marker down at the 18-yard line. So we have quite a bit to sort out here. Haas displayed the ability to avoid pressure because it is on him once again. You can see Oklahoma's coming after him. Number 90 is John Blake. He avoids that, avoids a, an ankle tackle, and gets the ball off. Good play by the quarterback. Illegal chuck on the defense. Refused. First down. First down, they spotted at the 17-yard line. So it goes for a gain of 17. Arizona State trailing by two. They're on the move. Taking a look at number 34, Montgomery, on the bench with the leg injury. To the 15. Second down and eight. Defensive line. We're looking at Oklahoma. Good law, Brian, Blake, Slater, and Murphy. Bitson and Ship the linebackers. Drain Case, Stanbury, and Hayworth in the secondary. Daryl Sanji still bothered by that back injury. He got into the Missouri game, missed the Nebraska game. Thought he might be able to play here, still bothering him. Arizona State in excellent field position. They've got that great field goal kicker, Bear that in mind. Inside hand off the field, clock. Clock to the five. Touchdown. something number 42 Daryl Clack and you can see the blocking excellent blocking you don't do not bring him down with just a hand and now the speed comes into it a foot race to the corner and Daryl Clack wins that foot race Arizona State six points 17 13 here's the extra point attempt by Zendaya talk about automatic he has never missed one in his collegiate career 
He does not miss this one. It is 18 to 13. The margin is five points. A 43-yard drive in four plays. And here's the freshman from Fountain, Colorado, scoring his ninth touchdown. We're back at the Fiesta Bowl where we have eight minutes and 59 seconds left to go. Third quarter. 43 yards on the drive, four plays. It took a minute and 46 seconds. And the freshman, Darrell Clack, scoring for 15 yards out. Now, it's in day house to kick off. Either Fred Sim or Stanley Wilson. Arizona State leading 18-13. This is Stanley Wilson. 10, 20, fumbles the ball, but they will blow the play dead. He had made contact with the ground. He comes whipping over the top of the ball, went sailor. But Oklahoma will have the football first down. Oklahoma's created their own problems in the second half. They were in scoring position. They fumbled the football. Here it is. Talking about doing a flip. Stanley Wilson, there it is. Wilson with 80 yards in three returns to score. Is Arizona State 18 and Oklahoma 13. We have about eight minutes plus left to go. We're in the third quarter at the Fiesta Bowl. On a gorgeous day to start football on NBC. Stay with us here. We'll be followed by the Rose and the Orange as Kelly Phelps carries across the 30 to about the 31, a gain of seven. It'll be second down and three. Mike Richardson makes the stop. Not only does he make the stop, Charlie, he really lowers the boom. He is a hitter. Two-time All-America senior, Compton, California. He First round draft material in the National Football League. There are several of them yes. on the field. Today. On both sides, yes. And not all of them seniors either. It's true. And after this ball game, you're going to the Rose Bowl. We got Michigan against UCLA. You're going to see Anthony Carter of Michigan in that ball game, the outstanding receiver for the Wolverines of Michigan. On the ball Maybe a yard on the play, Langston and Boyer. We're there for the defense. I sense things changing. The beginning of the uh, second half, Dupree took off on the long run. Since that time, that defense is uh, more tenacious in the second half. They're really hitting out there right now for Arizona State. Dupree now with 179 yards rushing. Festival record 202. Wilson is 35. Sims is 36. Phelps has 48. Here's the pick. Dupree. He does it. Keegan's with the save. They have to get the football of that young man. When he breaks through the line of scrimmage, with the great speed that he has, as you're going to see right now, Phelps taking out pitch. He's going out just as he gets hit. Now here he goes. 21, Scott Keegan is the only man between he and the goal line. There it is. Big hole for Marcus Dupree. He now has 233 yards rushing. It's a Fiesta Bowl record. Unbelievable. Bear in mind, he left in the first half with an injury. He went to the locker room. He missed a lot of the first half. 20-yard line of Arizona State. Now, Arizona State leads 18-13. You stop them, you stop them, and all of a sudden, you give the ball to one of their backs, particularly this man, and whammo. And he does it from long distance. As we mentioned at the end of the replay, Fiesta Bowl record, 233 yards. Almost 13 yards per carry. Breaking the record of Woodrow Green set in 1972, so the record 11 years old. Makes and it, he's being a... Makes it easier to coach, and it, it does. He has three more years to... Dupree, as you saw, is going off the field. I think it's just a, for a breather. He's bothered by the rib injuries that he suffered in the first half. The 233 yards with rib injuries. And he's 18 years old, a freshman, 6'2", 235 pounds. Three more years at Oklahoma. Big A teams are going to have to look at him for oh, three Oh, boy. Second down and nine, 19-yard line. Jet Winters is in as the flanker. Fred Sims and Stanley Wilson are the running backs. This is Sims on the pitch. Sims to the 15, the 10, the 5, and the block out in front. 
He scores. Paul Clouis, the wide receiver with a key block, riding the defender inside the five-yard line. I had mentioned earlier that if you're a receiver for Oklahoma, you'd better be able to block. Phelps pitching it out. Sims receiving it. Good blocking downfield. Goes to the corner of the end zone. You don't see Paul Clouis in your picture, but he had an outstanding block on that play. Here it is. The option play. He's hit. Maxwell hits the quarterback. Sims has the ball. There's the block right there. Outstanding block. Number 82, Paul Clouis. 19 to 18, Oklahoma by one. They'll go for two. They'll throw. Scramble. Look out. They've got it. Passing for two to Johnny Fontanet. Now, Fontanet has the only touchdown receiving this year for the quarterback. Kelly Phelps. You can understand why Fontenet is excited. He doesn't get the opportunity very often. Nice move by Phelps to avoid a tackler. Gets the ball up in the air. Fontenet makes the reception. We're going to be back following this timeout. Number 69, Brent Burks, the offensive tackle for the Sooners. Shaken up on that play now, being assisted from the field. They were working uh, on his chest so he may have a, a rib problem but if it if it is one we will get that information passed it on to you that drive 76 yards in five plays took a minute 39 seconds actually took about a minute 35 to free took about four yes. seconds to go zip and put him in position Fred Sims 19 yards on the touchdown now has 55 yards in eight carries Oklahoma rushing 373 yards how many times uh, we get it that uh, is Dupree carry? It seems to me only twice he's carried the ball in the second half. He has 18 carries in the ball game for 233 yards. And I don't know how many in the second half, but we'll check that out. Now Michael Keeling will be kicking off. Mike Cade and Daryl Clack are deep. Taken at the one yard line by Mike Cade. The tackle flag is down to the 18 yard line. Gerald Lowell was there for the Sooners. Mike Cade, the junior. On the tackle, number 10, Scott Cade. Stay with us today. The Rose Bowl coming up. Michigan going against UCLA. Of course, we started all off with the Fiesta Bowl. And then we'll be moving on to the Orange Bowl. Nebraska against LSU. That's tonight. Starting at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, the pageantry of the Orange Bowl. Charlie, you know, for LSU, they've got an outstanding freshman running back by the name of Dalton Hilliard, so he's going to be exciting to watch in the Orange Bowl this evening. Clipping penalty against Arizona State moves the ball back to their nine yard line, first down. So they've got a long way to go. Passing yardage, Arizona State 116 yards, Oklahoma zero yards officially they did throw for the two points so we could say they do have a couple of yards Alvin Moore from Randolph Arizona starts it off for Arizona State Tom Flemons is there for the Oklahoma Sooners a gain of two to the 11 yard line. It'll be second down and eight as Oklahoma now leads Arizona State 21 to 18. ASU led at halftime 18 13. So Charlie, the battle continues. Arizona State's going to have to keep that ball away from Oklahoma because they have been very, very explosive in the second half. The only way that they've been stopped, they stopped themselves. Hodge goes deep. He overthrows everybody. It's incomplete. Wetzel, the closest hit to the receiver, third down and eight. And once again, John Hans, the junior quarterback, is getting a lot of pressure. Well, when you get that back by your end zone, you get a little antsy back there. You want to get rid of the ball. And here it is, and just pressure all around him. He really can't, he couldn't see there. He threw, tried to throw. He could not see over that defensive line. He threw it up in the air, and he's lucky it wasn't intercepted. He was trying to go to his big tight end, Ron Wetzel. In total yardage thus far, Oklahoma 373 yards. Arizona State 178. Now the Sooners going against the number one defensive team in the nation. All right, open. Okay. 
seven more. 30, 40, 40, 30. He's caught by Scott Case. about team speed for both sides. Here it is. Alvin Moore is wide open. Somebody blew the coverage. There's no one around him. He's off and rolling on a 68-yard pass and run, putting Arizona State in scoring position. Once again, a, a touchdown-saving tackle by number 10, Scott Case, running him down. 20-yard line for Arizona State. They definitely got themselves out of the hole. You just saw another record being set on that play. Longest pass play in Arizona State history and a Fiesta Bowl record as Wright gets the call. I think a Barry Switzer, the head coach of Oklahoma, a place like that oh. can give you ulcers. But the, that Oklahoma team is doing it to Arizona State. This is a very explosive game. Two teams with great speed, and they're explosive on both sides. Second down and four at the 14-yard line. So records continue to be set. School records and Fiesta Bowl records that we've been talking about. Play action. Rolling left, right hand. It throws intercepted in zone. Scott Case. Sooners will pick over at the 20-yard line. has really done a job in the last couple of plays. He ran down Moore to save a touchdown. This time he intercepts in the end zone, giving Oklahoma the ball on the 20-yard line. We'll take a timeout. Sooners have the ball with the interception, and they have the lead. Todd Hobbs, 11 of 27. The interception that he just suffered is Scott Case. Picked it off in the end zone. Oklahoma now from their own 20-yard line. Inside handoff to Fred Sims, who just scored the touchdown as Jeff Cote and Maxwell make the tackle. A gain of five to the 25. It is second down and five. You just saw Weatherspoon for Oklahoma coming into the ball game. The receivers will shuttle in the plays for Oklahoma. The tailbacks will do it for Arizona State. Second down and five. First back through, Stanley Wilson. Mike Richardson leading the defense. Jimmy Williams was also there, the inside linebacker. Official spotted at the 29-yard line, so it'll be third down and one. They've had such great success going wide with Dupree on that option play. That time they gave it to the fullback, picked up good yardage. Wilson, 42 yards and 14 carries, including two touchdowns. Third down and one. Quarterback sneak. All he has to do is get the ball to the yard line. They do not need to measure, as you know, it started following the touchback at the 20-yard line. The report on Dupree still a bit shaken up, as he was in that last long run that he had of some 55 yards, 56 yards. He has 233 yards rushing in the ball game, and he is not in here as yet. But the report is that he will be back in the ball game. First down at the 30-yard line. Winners in motion. Fred Sim to the 37-yard line. Flag is down and maybe for a late hit. That's what it was, Charlie. Number, I think it was... Dead ball, personal foul, defense. I think it was a freshman linebacker battle. I think you're going to see it right... Here it is, right there. Yes. He uh, arrived late and he arrived helmet first, and that's a quick 15. There's Marcus Debris on the sidelines. He looks like he's all right. I'm sure he'll be back in the ball game. ASU 47-yard line, first down. Penalty puts the ball on the Arizona State 47-yard line, first down. 
Stanley Wilson and Fred Sims are the running backs. Winners is in as a flanker. Sims gets the call. And he will lose a couple of yards as Mike Richardson, the free safety, is there. Mike Richardson has made some great plays in this ball game, and I can understand why he's an All-American two times. Here it is, number 25, sheds that blocker, makes an open field tackle. He's made about three open field tackles that I can recall, and that's not an easy chore against these Oklahoma backs. Generally, when he makes a tackle, you know that he's made the tackle if you're the ball carrier. Sims is 57 yards and a touchdown. This is Stanley Wilson. He adds a couple to his total, which will give him a total of 44. The quarterback Phelps is 55. Marcus Dupree has 233 yards rushing in the ball game. Spotted at the 47-yard line, third down and 10. There's Stanley Wilson, number 32. From Carson, California, 835 yards during the regular season. A 4.9-yard average. His longest run against Kansas State was 43 yards. And he had 143 yards rushing in that ball game. Third down, hit the ball. Arizona State has it. It is Mark Hicks, number 94. Oklahoma has created their own problems in the second half, giving the ball away. Ordinarily, a third and long situation, you would think it would be a passing situation, but not for, for Oklahoma. Another turnover for Arizona State. They'll have the ball in good field position. We'll be back in just a moment. Number 94, Mark Hicks with a fumble recovery. Oklahoma has lost three fumbles. They've lost an interception. Pass is complete. Number 46 is Dwayne Tex Wright of Dallas, Texas. 43-yard line of Oklahoma. ASU has an interception. Turnovers are four to one. Dupree in the first half, 13 carries for 122 yards, and the second half, five carries for 111 yards. This is Charlie Jones, Lynn Dawson. We're in the third quarter. It is Oklahoma 21, Arizona State University 18, and an exciting Fiesta Bowl. The Sun Devils on the move. Daryl Clapp, 35 out of bounds. He goes out of bounds at the 35-yard line. Great speed. Daryl Clack, freshman. Here's number 39, Kevin Murphy, being knocked back. Now his job is to make sure that the back does not get outside, but because of the great speed of number 42, that freshman Daryl Clack, he does make it outside. He does make a first down on the 35 for Arizona State. First down at the Oklahoma 35-yard line. Arizona State trailing by three. And a flag is down. Maybe an illegal procedure call against Arizona State. Good ball, foul. Illegal procedure on the white. Illegal procedure against the Sun Devil. An area that's open that uh, Arizona has been successful with is that little pass to the back coming out of the backfield. Those linebackers of Oklahoma get a lot of depth. They catch it in front of them. The one resulted in a 68-yard uh, pass, catch, and run by Alvin Moore. I look for Arizona State to do some more of that. Five-yard penalty, first down, 15 at the Oklahoma 40-yard line. Goes deep. Moore overthrows him. And he was out of bounds at the same time. Alvin Moore, the intended receiver. He had 12 receptions during the regular season. Steve Hayworth had the coverage. It'll be second down 15 at the Oklahoma 40 yard line. In total yardage, Oklahoma leads 394 yards to 266. And for the Sooners, all 394 yards rushing. Bear in mind, this is the number right, one John. defensive right, team in the country, Arizona State. Second down, 15. Blitz is on. He'll have to get it off. Pass is complete. Clack to the 30, to the 20. Out of bounds, the 11-yard line. With a blitz on, they picked it up. Dwight Green saves the touchdown.
29-yard gain. He's going to get rid of the ball just in time because he gets leveled by a number 25 low. There is an area right beyond the line of scrimmage where the linebackers get dipped. Clack catches the ball. No one is around him. This is an outstanding sprinter. Taking the ball to the 10-yard line. First and 10 for Arizona State. Darrell Clack, 37 yards receiving, 18 yards rushing. At the 10-yard line, they say first down. This is Moore. He's in trouble. He fumbles. Hans falls on it at the 17-yard line. So a loss of seven. It'll be second down and 17. Now let's watch that play from behind. And here it is, the handoff to Moore. He finds no opening. He's trying to find an opening. The ball is knocked out of his hand right there by number 88, Weddington. Fortunately, the quarterback was there, fell on the football. It was at the 10-yard line when they started. That's about a seven-yard loss. Now it's second and 17. at the one-yard line. Doug Allen. It'll be third down at the one-yard line. Here it is. Todd Hawes, good throw. Doug Allen, 82, makes the catch. Both feet in bounds. Steve Hayworth is the man who made first contact, stopping his momentum at the one-yard line. Third down. Now for the Sooners, if they hold, Arizona State may go with another field goal attempt and go for the tie. I would have to think that Arizona State, as the quarter comes to an end, Arizona State would think about going for the touchdown, even if they don't make it. That's the end of the third quarter. We'll be right back after these messages from your local station. This is Charlie Jones, Lynn Dawson. We start the fourth quarter of the Fiesta Bowl. Oklahoma 21, Arizona State University 18. And what a way to start the day of 1983. Then it's on to the Rose and the Orange. He has stopped, does not go in. Todd Hans. Now, here's the line of scrimmage. We're going to take a look at it. There is the possibility of a first down. Second effort, he got in there, but I'm sure that they called him that he was stopped before he made that last move. Now, the play had started, the uh, this series from first down, it started the 10-yard line. The series actually started back at the 48. But there was a possibility. We thought it was rather slim. Look at that. It may be just enough for a first down. My guess is going to be it's an inch short. My second guess is that we can never see from this vantage point. There it is. It's a first down by an end. Woo! Well, you only missed it by one. By two inches. <laughs> now they got four shots at getting into the end zone. Probably go with a quarterback sneak to avoid the possibility of a fumble. First down goal to go. Hans has 241 yards passing. His personal high is 300 yards. That was over Texas at El Paso. Double tight in the ball game. Look for the quarterback state. And off dive. It is there. Alvin Moore touchdown. Here it is. Handing off to the tailback. Moore up and over. Securely had that ball, had his ball securely under his arm. They got some surge by that offensive line, and that was a good job by Arizona State. Alvin Moore, 41 yards, 13 carries, and the touchdown. Extra point attempt is up, and it is good. Zendejas now is 74 straight. PAT, it is 25-21. Arizona State is back in front in this seesaw battle. Don't go away now. We'll be back with a kickoff. A drive of 52 yards in eight plays. It took two minutes and 40 seconds. 
And now Luis Zendejas will be kicking off either Fred Sims or Stanley Wilson. Wilson three returns, 79 yards. That's a 26-yard average. He has returned all of the kicks for Oklahoma in the game today. Wilson to the five. 15, good move. 20 yards on the return. Now, the Fiesta Bowl here at Arizona State University, 25, Oklahoma 21. Still more than 14 minutes left to go. And from here, we'll be going to the Rose Bowl, the granddaddy of them all, Michigan and UCLA. So just stay with us here on New Year's Day. Then it's on to Nebraska LSU and the pageantry of the Orange Bowl in Miami, Florida. But right now, a lot still to be settled at the Fiesta Bowl. Arizona State out in front, 25-21. Oklahoma with the ball at their own 20-yard line. Marcus Dupree is in the lineup. Dupree has the first down. And he broke a tackle by Mike Richardson, the All-American defensive back. the ball at the 32 yard line the story here is right here Marcus Dupree I believe he is down this is the third time that he has been shaken up well, let's see if we can see what happened here it is cutting against the green Maxwell is blocked Richardson misses the tackle oh he, he pulled a muscle I believe Dupree 245 yards Marcus Dupree with 245 yards rushing in 19 carries. What if he, what if he was healthy the whole game? He missed a lot of it. Rib injury and now maybe a muscle injury. Here's Fred Sims. Sims spins to the 37-yard line, a gain of about five. It'll be second and five. Paul Moyer and Vernon Maxwell with the tackle. Let's go back and see what happened if we can pick it up on Dupree. I think it looks like his left leg right there. Is that a hamstring that rolls up on you when you put the pressure on it? It could be. It's hard for the picture to tell. It looked like either that or his knee gave out on him. He did walk off the field, which is good news. 245 yards. In 19 carries. It's like they're working on his knee. The Estebal record. Number 32 is Stanley Wilson, who has scored two touchdowns for the Sooners. Mitch Callahan and Jimmy Williams make the tackle. Gain of a couple of yards to the 38-yard line. Third down and four. 25-21 is the score. Third down conversions, Oklahoma 9 of 16. Arizona State only 3 of 11. Stops him prior to the first down. So Keeling will come in to kick it away. It'll be about a yard shy of the first down. Fred Sims with a touchdown to his credit. 11 carries, 62 yards. A great speed of number 54, Vernon Maxwell, running that ball carrier down. He's done that two or three times in the ball game today. Here it is. They're working on, uh, looks like his knee. The back of his knee. They're putting ice on it there to prevent swelling. Here's the kick. Scott Keegans, fair catch. He takes it at the 22-yard line. So Scott Keegans, the academic all packed in from Fairmont, California, makes the fair catch. ASU has the football on their own 22-yard line. The Sun Devils have the lead. We'll be back. Eleven fifty-seven left to go. Stanley Wilson, who has scored two touchdowns. He's a bit of a, he's quite a ball player, the senior from Carson, California. Now we await an official decision on Dupree. I'm assuming he cannot come back the way that he came off, but he has been back a couple of times already after being here. He does have a hamstring, and Arizona State has been able to control the Sooner offense when Dupree has not been in there. But now let's see what Arizona State does on offense. As Alvin Moore picks up maybe a yard, that's about all he will get. All-America Rick Bryant 
is the man who makes the tackle. He was the defensive player of the year in the Big A. Brian, a junior, 6'4", 260 pounds. He'll be back. Well, they mark it to 22, so it's second down and 10, no game. Arizona State leading by four, 25 to 21. The Sooners a two to three point favorite coming into the ball game. Hans with pressure throws, it is complete. At the 38 yard line to Ron Wetzel, the senior tight end at 6'7", 238 pounds. Daryl Sanji now in on defense was there along with Hayward. Hans paid the price once again. He gets rid of the ball just as he does. Look out. He gets hit, gets the ball to the tight end, picks up the first down. That quarterback for Arizona State is taking beating. I don't know that Dupree is hurting. So is Wilson. Hans is thrown for 256 yards. Go! to the 46 yard line. Second down and two, Darrell Sanji. The senior from New Orleans, a back injury in the Missouri game, missing Nebraska game. Did not start here. But he's in. In case you're wondering, Todd Hunt's best day passing 300 yards, so he's only 44 yards away from that. This is Charlie Jones, Lynn Dawson. We're in the fourth quarter of possibly the most exciting Fiesta Bowl ever. Arizona State 25, Oklahoma 21. Marcus Dupree with 245 yards rushing, but he has a hamstring injury. Darrell Clack, the ball carrier, he has scored a touchdown in the ball game, and Rick Bryan makes a tackle. Lim? Well, I'll tell you, I can understand why Rick Bryan is such a highly regarded defensive lineman. He was involved in that tackle. When the pass is on, he's providing a lot of pressure on the quarterback. Come on, oh! Change coming out for the measurement. Alvin Moore for Arizona State is 49 yards rushing. Darrell Clack, the freshman, has 18 yards rushing. Moore and Clack both have touchdowns for Arizona State. Six to eight inches shy. First downs, Arizona State leading Oklahoma by one, 17 to 16. So that pretty well updates all the numbers, but there's only one number that is important. That's the score, 25-21 Arizona State. For Oklahoma, there's another number. That's number 22, Marcus Dupree. Can he return? We do not believe so with that hamstring problem. He had a rib injury in the first half. They had to tape him up. He must have missed, what, 12 to 15 minutes of play in the first half well, and still has 245 yards. In reality, he's going to have 245 yards rushing in about a half a football game. He's averaging about 13 yards a carry. <laughs> Of course, this is just the start. There's more great football action later. We'll be going on to the Rose Bowl and then to the Orange Bowl. So just sit back and relax and the New Year's Day with NBC. John Hines going for the first down. He needed that much, which is uh, about seven inches. It's a good thing he didn't need a whole lot, yeah. Charlie, because that he didn't get there, a whole lot. <laughs> there's Rick Bryan slashing in. Not much movement, but enough to pick up the first down. Fisher say is too close, too important. I've already conceded to it. They want to make sure. I, I don't blame them. I missed, I missed the other call down to the goal line. You were right. But just barely. This is Charlie Jones, Lynn Dawson. The score here at the Fiesta Bowl at Arizona State University, 25. Oklahoma, 21. For Arizona State, who is in Dejas, three field goals of 32, 22, and a Fiesta Bowl record, 54 yards. The three field goals equaling the Fiesta Bowl record. The 54-yarder is a record, second largest in ASU history. He has the record of 55 yards. Marcus Dupree, 245 yards rushing but he has a hamstring problem. Arizona State on the attack. Hans goes deep. The speedster is there. He has got it. Touchdown. Ron Brown, world-class sprinter. Takes it foul in the end zone. And then spins the ball like a top. Listen to the crowd. Throw, he has time. Unleash 
gets it. Number 30 is Ron Brown. He ripped 100. Bear in mind, in about 9.1 or 9.2 seconds. Man-to-man -man coverage. He makes the reception, and it's six points. That pass good for 52 yards and a touchdown. And the extra point is good. And Dejas now. 75 of 75. Extra point. And Arizona State stretches the margin as Ron Brown speeds to the end zone one more time. Nine minutes and 23 seconds left in the exciting Fiesta Bowl. It is now Arizona State. 32, Oklahoma 21. Todd Hans, a career day. He has thrown for 308 yards. He just threw to Ron Brown for the score. It's 32-21 as Stanley Wilson returns for the Oklahoma Sooners. And the Sooners return it to the 35-yard line where Oklahoma will go to work. First down and 10. This is the Fiesta Bowl. We start it all on NBC Today. Then coming up, the granddaddy of them all, the Rose Bowl. Michigan led by the exciting Anthony Carter. I don't know how he could be any more exciting than Marcus Dupree is, but stay with us today, and we'll find out. And then we'll go on to the exciting Orange Bowl. Dave Remington's Nebraska Horncusters taking on the roaring LSU Tigers. Their freshman whiz, Dalton Hilliard, live from Miami. That's all today on NBC Sports. Now Oklahoma from the 35-yard line. Sims and Wilson are in the backfield. Dupree with a hamstring to have to throw. They do. It's complete. Spinning at the 45 is Chet Winters and then thrown out of bounds at the 49-yard line. 14 yards, first down. Mike Richardson with the tackle. That's the first pass that he's completed other than the two-point play to his tight end. They're, they're in a situation now, Oklahoma is, that they do not like playing catch-up football. Winners making the catch, getting the first down for Oklahoma. 49-yard line, first down. Oklahoma on the move. They trail 32-21. They were the favorites. Phelps throws back. It's a screen. The pass is complete. 47-yard line of LSU. Weldon Ledbetter on the receiving end. Vernon Maxwell with the tackle. Now, with all of the excitement that NBC is covering today, starting off here at the Fiesta Bowl, there's a strong possibility, as here's a happy new year, that we could well be going to the Rose Bowl and then coming back here to the Fiesta Bowl. So we'll be touching bases here in Arizona and in Pasadena, updating the granddaddy of them all as Merlin Olson. The Grand Marshal of the Tournament of Roses Braid and Dick Enberg are standing by there and then coming back here to pick up the excitement here. So stay with us. A lot still remaining today. And, of course, we follow all of this with the Orange Bowl. Play is down before the fumble at the 40-yard line of Arizona State. A gain of 47. Paul Cluis on the receiving end. Very close to the first down there. Let's see where the officials spot the ball. It is a first down. And a final SMU defeating Pittsburgh 7-3 to three in the Cotton Bowl. And those of you that have been watching the Cotton Bowl, welcome to the excitement of the Fiesta Bowl here in Tempe, Arizona. On a gorgeous day. Marcus Dupree rushing for 245 yards. The 18-year-old freshman of the Sooners. A rib injury in the first half and a hamstring here in the second half. But what a day he has had. This is Fred Sell, the tailback. He has scored a touchdown. Mike Richardson with the tackle. A gain of a couple on the play. It'll be second down and eight. It is ASU 32, Oklahoma 21. Lewis and Dejas, a Fiesta Bowl record of 54 yard field goals. And that came in the closing second of the first half. Oklahoma led 7 0 after the first quarter. Oklahoma led 13 11 at the half. And they led 21 18 after three. But now they trail. Stanley Wilson, who has scored a pair of touchdowns for the Sooners, is the ball carrier with Jeff Cote and Langston on the stop for the Sun Devils. There you looking at Marcus Dupree, 12.9 yard average. I do not believe he'll be back in the ball game because it looked like that 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 hamstring popped when he was running to the left side on the sweep. Third down and six at the 36 yard line. Now along with Dupree. There is a player injured on the other side of the table we're right. informed. Brian Caldwell. All right. Wilson has 47 yards rushing. This is Fred Sims. Sims with 64 yards prior to that play. So that will add to his total. Number 23, Fred Sims. 
It'll be about a yard and a half shy. First down, a yard and a half away. So it is fourth down, one and a half. Look at that, Oklahoma, 417 yards rushing against the number one defensive team in the nation. The pitch scoops up at the 38-yard line. The play will be blown dead in college ball. A fumble recovery, you cannot advance it. But Arizona State will take over. Dwayne Galloway with the fumble recovery. The option helps going. Now he's going to pitch out. It's a bad pitch out. It's thrown behind the ball carrier. He's looking for Fred Sims, number 23. Galloway is there to pick it up. As you said, Charlie, you cannot advance a fumble. All right, that's the situation here. Now let's find out what's happening in Pasadena. Let's go to the Rose Bowl. Scoring game here in Pasadena, California. Michigan 8 and 3, UCLA 9, 1 and 1, and the temperature 70 degrees. It has blossomed the beauty here the first day of 1983. Looking forward to calling Michigan UCLA. Now back to Tempe, Arizona. All right, thank you, Dick, for the update. As we come back here, Arizona State with the lead. 32 to 21. The line of scrimmage, the ASU 33-yard line. Oklahoma has lost the ball five times. ASU only once. Five to one. Turnovers, big part of this ball game. That has been the, been the tail for Oklahoma in this ball game this afternoon. 535, time remaining. Hans fires. It's there. Jerome Witherspoon with the reception. Who has taken a tremendous beating in the ball game has really been throwing. But he's having a record day. He for fired himself. that one, Charlie. He went back, set up, got that right foot uh, planted in the ground, and really fired a ball to Witherspoon, cutting across. You can see that ball is taking off. It's got a lot of zip on it. Hits him right in the numbers. After the losing a few yards on first down, second down situation, the pass is completed. Arizona State has a first down on the 45-yard line. Hans now has thrown for 324 yards. The Fiesta Bowl passing record is 347. That's the record that he's going at. Under pressure, it'll be intercepted to the 27-yard line. Keith Stanbury and Oklahoma has the football with the interception. That is the second turnover. Number 46 for Oklahoma, Darrell Goodlow, hit his arm as he was throwing. The ball was fluttering down there, and a big interception for Oklahoma. That's what they needed. There are two touchdowns down behind this ball game. Here is he's making the draw, throwing. He's hit right there by number 46, Darrell Goodlow. A big break for Oklahoma. They'll have the ball when we come back in just a moment. Preceding announcement supplied by the Fiesta Bowl Committee. And the man that you saw, Dave Remington, you will see him live tonight on the Orange Bowl. Pass is completed. The lateral is fumbled, and Arizona State has the recovery. And they celebrate. Mitch Callahan with the fumble recovery to go along with his interception. David Carter caught the ball. The lateral was to Chet Winters, and Winters just couldn't find it. Had he been able to hold on that ball, it could have been a touchdown. This is a flea flicker. You may remember that Miami ran that against the San Diego last year. Did not work it for the case of Oklahoma. And another turnover for Oklahoma. Arizona State has the ball. Five to two. Oklahoma's sixth turnover of the ball game. Arizona State has the ball at their own 36-yard line. First down. Arizona State leading 32 to 21 on the draw. Alvin Moore. Moore to the 43-yard line. In total offense, Oklahoma 443 yards, Arizona State 405 yards. That was prior to that last play. That is 848 yards of total offense. The estimable record is 1,121. Moore, 57 yards rushing and a touchdown. 17 carries. They mark it at the 42-yard line. ASU in their own territory. Stopped by 
Bob Slater. Arizona State, of course, they want to run some time off the clock right now. At the ASU 47. Second down and five. There is the time remaining. 340. The margin, 11 points. 32-21, Arizona State out in front. Alvin Moore. Moore picks up the first down. Scott Case makes the tackle for Oklahoma. It'll be at the Oklahoma 48-yard line. Barry Switzer knows he needs a turnover right now. His team is two touchdowns behind. It's a first and ten situation for Arizona State. The defense has got to come up with, for the, uh, with the football for Oklahoma to get them back in this ballgame. Arizona State has 89 yards rushing in the ball game, more than 300 passing. Oklahoma has 417 yards rushing. 32-21 is the score. First down, Arizona State at the Oklahoma 48-yard line. Darryl Clark. Good defensive play by Dwight Drain. Clack put two moves on him. Drain never moved and dropped him. Well, had he gotten by that tackler, it'd been all she wrote. Here it is. It's a counter play. He gets by one defensive player, but not Drain. Number 33 sticks his head gear right in the numbers and brings him down. Now, Arizona State. A year ago, number one offensive team in the nation. This year, number one defensive team. They have been on probation. This is the first time that they have been on national television in a long time. They are having an outstanding game. Has to help their recruiting program. Well, I'll tell you, they say that Darrell Rogers can't make up his mind whether he wants offense or defense. Today, he's had a little of both. The best of both worlds as Alvin Moore carries to the 39. Don Flemons with the tackle. It'll be... Third down and about a yard to go as Tony Lombardi comes in. The two head coaches, Darrell Rogers for Arizona State, Barry Switzer for Oklahoma, the winningest coach in the nation. And the granddaddy is coming up. Michigan and UCLA, followed by the Orange Bowl, Nebraska and LSU. <laughs> One man short in the backfield as Hans wanted to pitch. He wasn't there. He goes out of bounds. 38 yard line. May have picked up the first down still. You know what a feeling that is to turn around, to pitch the ball to somebody, and that somebody is, nope, they're not there. So you just put it under your arm and go yourself. <laughs> that is not what you call a called play. Down. 129 time remaining here at the most exciting fiesta bowl that they have had boy what a matchup this has been we look for the offense of the Sooners we shine with Marcus Dupree 245 yards the defense of the Sun Devils actually it's been the Sun Devils offense that has been so surprising they've come up with a lot of big plays Primarily because of that man, the quarterback, Todd Hahn. Summer softening through is Tony Lombardi. Bob Slater making the stop there. We'll be going uh, to the Rose Bowl in just a few moments. The coordinating producer of NBC's football, Ted Nathanson. Today's telecast has been produced by George Finkel, directed by Andy Rosenberg, Bill Toby, our technical director, and our associate director is John Libretto. And of course, helping us in the booth, Kirk Hendricks, Rich Wanniger, and Jeff Coy. Thank you, gentlemen. And right after... Oh, do we have a timeout here? If we have a moment, we can name our most valuable players. All right, the Toyota most valuable players for today's Fiesta Bowl are Todd Hans of Arizona State and Marcus Dupree of the University of Oklahoma. Each MVP will receive a special trophy in honor of his achievement in today's game. In addition, Toyota will donate $1,000 to the General Scholarship Fund of each university for the school's participation in today's game. This money will be used to assist students in their chosen field of academic interest. And also, we might add, if there was a 
runner-up trophy. It would go to Luis Zidejas for those three field goals, including a record 54-yarder in the Fiesta Bowl. That 54-yarder made a big, big difference in this ball game early, or in the, in the first half. Oh, yes. Coming with no time remaining. There he is. There they are, all soccer-style kickers. They're kicking the ball. They're, they can control that ball with their feet, surely like you and I with our hands. Todd Hans throwing for 329 yards. That's a personal record. Marcus Dupree rushing for 245 yards. Also a personal record. And a Fiesta Bowl record. The 35-yard line is Alvin Moore, Jerry Sanders. The strong side linebacker from Garland, Texas, makes the tackle. tackle by Oklahoma stopping the clock. 68, the line of scrimmage will be the 36-yard line. Daryl Rogers going for his first 10 victory season. And while we have the timeout here, Lynn Berman standing by in New York, so he may be going there. Of course, we could jump over to the Rose Bowl, or we could stay here in gorgeous Tempe. A lot of excitement. We'll end up eventually at the Rose Bowl and then on to the Orange Bowl. So just relax and enjoy a lot of football today. As Alvin Moore, 60 yards. Rushing, 18 carries, leading ASU on the ground today. Freshman Darrell Clack, 11 carries, 30 yards. The granddaddy of them all waiting in the wings. Michigan and UCLA, there'll be more than 100,000 people there. We've had over 70,000 here, plus tonight there'll be about 80,000 in Miami for the Orange Bowl. So that means a lot of people, and that means also we have only three seconds here before it becomes official. Lynn, your reaction to this Fiesta Bowl, fourth one that we've been to. I think this has been the most exciting of all the four that we have been here. And I think they're such big play teams, both Oklahoma and Arizona State. We said early in the telecast, both teams really have great team speed. Great running backs and the receivers have outstanding speed. And I have been impressed with both sides. And also the, the defense of Oklahoma, the defensive line, I was impressed with them putting a lot of pressure on the quarterback. We have now been informed that the clock is wrong. There's a minute and three seconds left. Okay. <laughs> Only missed it by one minute, eh? <laughs> that was close. Arizona State at the Oklahoma 36-yard line. Spin on the handoff to Tony Lombardi, and not that smooth a handoff. Rick Bryant makes the tackle. Rock Stewart, the festival chairman, and uh, everybody that we've had a contact with the Fiesta Bowl Committee, we would like to thank and the luncheon and the parade meeting us at the airport. It's really been a tremendous experience. The Fiesta Bowl, much more than just a football game. Tom Hunt won the uh, 10K run, part of the Fiesta Bowl yesterday, a junior tennis tournament. So it's, it is a celebration of sports here in the Valley of the Stars. And it, Lynn and I are just happy that we could share it this year. See the blue skies there here at Tempe, Arizona. There are a lot of parts of the country that uh, are not enjoying blue skies. Well, they're making a lot of substitutions now for Arizona State. Jerry Switzer looks on. He knows that he needs a miracle right now. And he is in Dejas in. He's going for a Fiesta Bowl record of four field goals from the 42. This is an attempt of 52 yards. He already has a 54-yarder. He goes for the record. And he comes up short. Just comes up short. Mike Black, the holder, is shaken up on the play. Black is, oh, is that Zendaya? That is Zendaya that is down. I thought it was Black. I was watching the ball. Did anybody see what happened? OK, we'll take a look. Flag is down. There it is. But he was blocked into him by number 20, Tony Lombardi. Officials may not have picked that up. Let's look at that again, if we may. The first of foul is going to go against Oklahoma, but I thought he was blocked into him by Tony Lombardi. I think he was. It's a roughing the kicker call. Scott Case is saying, hey, what about being blocked into him? Todd Hans 
passing, 92 yards in the first half, 237 yards in the second half. Marcus Dupree's rushing for Oklahoma, 122 yards in the first half, 123 yards in the second half. Now we're just going to fall on the football and run out the clock. That's the formation that is set up here. The time remaining as the 12th Fiesta Bowl, the first meeting of Arizona State and Oklahoma coming to a close here at Sun Devil Stadium before a crowd of more than 70,500. Darrell Rogers, the head coach of Arizona State University. So it is, it is in reality a final here. Arizona State 32, Oklahoma 21. This is Charlie Jones and Lynn Dawson with a countdown here. Let's move now to Pasadena and the granddaddy of them all. 